my cup heals a dead turtle on it. Yep. It's not a drawing either. It's an actual corpse of a turtle. And it's starting to gooify. Dead turtle. Because <clears throat> it's made out of plastic. Apparently, it kills turtles. <laughs> it's a cute little drawing. Anyways. <sighs> Bottom floor time. As they say in the business. I like the barracks. How it still looks like it's some kind of slum. There's the giant target just outside. With, with crudely drawn targets inside. This little shack is falling apart. Beautiful. And it still has this hybrid leather stair on the, on the, the roof. Yep. Have some kind of a quarry here. I like to think that this is the bottom of the tower, you know, because it went upside down, got driven into the earth. And this is where it came out. <laughs> it, it just goes whoop. <laughs> it does a giant U turn. Yep. So like how the keep has still have scaffoldings around it. Yeah. It's just whatever. But the armory looks like a full blown castle. These things will never be finished. Anyways. Do we have any Chalenga? No. Well. Back to the conservatory. Uh, did I read what it does? Mm, yes. I also got an achievement for uh, Reign of Arrows last time. Oh, let's see what it does. Make it rain. Deal 10,000 damage in one combat with Reign of Arrows. It's an epic achievement. But not the epic game store, but like an epic tier achievement on GOG. 1%! Of the people who own the game on GOG have this achievement. I'm officially in the 1% of gamers for GOG Tower of Time. With the rain of arrows, of all things. Like, I, it barely deals damage. How did I deal 10,000 damage in one battle? It's unbelievable. Ill hero, which has less than 5 HP, rise from death. Oh, I got that as well. Either last time or the day before that. 39% of the uh, GOG version owners have this achievement. So it's not, it's, it's a common achievement. Less than 5 HP. Dude, we have like 1000 HPs and how, how did I manage to do that? I don't think it was a hero, though. I think it was one of the elementals. Purple is the new black. Equip all relics on one character. 4% of this. I wonder if there is an all... All... Uh, blah, 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 relics. Oh, look at that. Purple. Can we do all relics, though? She needs an amulet and handies. I don't think we have yellow handies, no. We do have a yellow amulet. Do we have a yellow... Yellow helmet for him? No. Do you guys share? Oh no, you know. We can't do yellows all around, because... I constantly break them. That's okay, I don't care about that. Achievement. Oh yeah, I want to forge this double forge. Ah, it's not gonna happen. <clears throat> oh, 
What do you want? <laughs> I just, I can't just sitting at the door staring, and I'm staring back. <laughs> He's so cute. Okay, I'm gonna let him out. Brb. Also, I just realized that the Festo uh, <clears throat> audio was not going, which means that the live stream was not. Wait a minute! Hold on! This is amazing. Live test. Let's go. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So anyone watching the VODs probably haven't noticed anything, but if there are anyone in chat right now, probably no one except me. They would have noticed that the game audio is not playing, but now it is. <laughs> I think my cat wants to play, because now, as soon as I hey Bob, you saw everything. Yeah, but there was nothing to see, only to hear. Which means you just outed yourself for not paying attention. Hello though. Welcome to the new week. But yeah, as soon as I stood up, my cat ran to the middle of the room towards the play pile. He wants to play. What I mean. Because he just woke up, right? He was napping a little bit here on, on my desk and then on the bed. And then now he wants to play, but... He's got no opposable thumbs. He can't play fucking video games. You heard nothing? Exactly. That's the problem, you see. That's the problem. Anyways. What are we doing? Oh yeah, this is the disconnected secret room. I guess we're going for the lesser scroll, huh? Bob, life. Exhausting. I'll take that. Array of Consoles. All your champions save Kayla, standing off of the ancient technology. He picks up a small rectangular flat piece of glass that turns bright blue at her touch. Words appear on the glass. World of War skill. Great. Today's victories include the defeat of four dwarven armies and the Black Dragon. The resources have produced 30 wood and 1200 gold since your last login. Ah, uh, someone was playing some... World of Warcraft knockoff idol game, a phone game on their tablet, but then they had to go ahead and sacrifice themselves for the greater good. Why do they have a satellite indoors? What the fuck? I'm gonna shoot my cat, hold on. Well, now I get a dead cat and some explaining to do. Cause I shot him. Oh. Plus one life, and the great Azul made the first things to move, and gaze at the Yeti rot, beguiled for a thousand days and a thousand nights, so full of life they were. Bible. Plus one life. Uh, oh, it's 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 gonna be Rakem, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like the previous one also gave life, and they gave it to Rakem because this way, this mad dwarf. See now he's got fourteen life. I can 
re-roll his ass and put more into mastery this way. He doesn't need more than a thousand life. Guess he's fine, right? Like he's literally half half the tank Kane is. But he's engaged with enemies in melee half the time as well, so. Plus he can take care of enemies that surround him a lot faster. He can just throw all these on himself. Put this on, and it basically deletes things. And Kane, Kane doesn't really have that. So since we have a lot of wealth, I'm just gonna reroll this. 3120. Max out his might for penetration. No speed required for him. Although skill cooldown. Ah, do I want skill cooldown? we we'll only need 4 to start getting skill cooldowns. His, his skill cooldown is 40. I got 7 points. It's, actually, his life is already a thousand. <laughs> Wait a minute. So from 40%, we can make that go into 43%? Yeah, that's not worth it. I'll give him 3 life. Because that also gives him some resistance. His average is 30%. This doesn't really matter. He can increase everything save for water, and water is his highest. Although it should be at least 30%, because Eric destroys 30%. Then again, clothing gives us some. But honestly, it doesn't really need to be. But just give him mastery. Am I wealthy? Yes. I have all the wealth. Wait, how did his skill power go down to 82%? Wasn't it supposed to be 100%? What have I done? What happened? Damn. Oh, with this it's 98%. Yeah. He's not a tank anymore, he's a mediocre tank. With strength. But yeah, what happened to his inventory? What, what, how did he lose skill power? Oh, I'm not. I, I forgot over the weekend what everything is. This is the only thing I remember that I want to double forge this because it's gonna be better pants than this. By oh yeah, because it has the eight percent armor as well. Yeah, this this is end game, so we need all forges on this. Unless I find something better, of course. But I don't think I'll. I don't think I will. Ooh, that might be the highest gold so far. 116. <laughs> what a timing. Body of the strange fanatical humans. That guy is purple. Oh yeah, and Boron looks retarded now. I mean, sorry. Boron looks redact uh, rejected now. I don't like his, his spiky look. Like He looks like the corrupted constructs now because he unleashed his rage uh, with character progression it makes sense but it's ugly honestly i think he he has the worst looking character of everybody and i guess then kane and whisper also look kind of eh then again it's personal but taste right fucking my looks cool as fuck though and rock him. They look cool. Obviously, Steampunk chick looks cool because Steampunk is the best. And uh, we don't talk about the elf. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, fashion show aside. Body of the Strange Fanatical Humans approach from the opposite end of the hall. Their numbers are fewer than you previously encountered. And they don't seem particularly well armed. What do you mean? We haven't seen this kind of fucker before. Look at his shield. Look at that fucking pauldron. His helmet looks like a hubcap, but, you know, still, well, that, that, I need that shield. Uh, and the, yet, they walk with a confidence, as if your champions pose no threat. Oh my god, my cat is dying now, hold on.
can't see. <laughs> I can't see. Meow into the microphone. Huh? Do that much. Do that much. Announce to the world that you exist. No? Fucking hell, I can't see shit. Your tail is going to end up in my coffee. What the fuck? Want some coffee? It's fake. It's fake. No, you don't like it? Basically, now I have a cat, and I have to put my shit somewhere else. Now I have a cat in front of me, and I can't see what I'm supposed to be reading. And he can't read. Or if he can, he can't read out loud. So, now we're just gonna sit here. Oh, great. He has no intentions of budging. Let me... I, I got this. I got a second monitor for a reason. Hold on. I need some kind of hotkey where I could swap my first and my second display. So it would just, you know, swap, reverse. Because now that I have a cat in front of me, it would be nice if I could just hot swap my, uh, my, my displays. And then we could keep going as like no one happened none like nothing happened you know oh the internet is dying too hold on a party a, a, a party <laughs> the microphone is in the way er! body of the strange fanatical humans approach oh yeah they walk with a confidence that that you don't care about where's my cursor there we go the leader among them, a shorter man in brass-colored armor with gold filigree and gold feathers, pushes his way through his man and addresses Kane. Ooh. Oh, that's the dude! Oh, look at him. He's got, like, cyberpunk. He's a cyberpunk knight. Or a police officer. An enforcer. You hand over all technology in your possession. Submit yourself for holy judgment and hand over your inferiors for immediate execution. Are what for execution? You play games with sacred members of the pure empire. You play games with your lives. By proclamation of our savior and benefactor and in the name of the one true God, all impures must be cleansed. These are from our world, huh? Without waiting for further response, the humans let loose bloodthirsty war cries and charge your champions. <gasps> He's leaving. He's leaving. I can see again. Oh, yeah. I can make this thing small. Don't come back. Not now. <laughs> He's looking back from behind the laptop. He's like, wait, what? Do you want me to come back? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking no, no, he's coming back. Or, or no, no, he's oh, he's gone. He did the leap of faith. Oh no, he is back. What the fuck? He wants my drink. <laughs> huh, but I just drank it. Anyways, they charge us. Yes. How are you doing, Bob? If you're still here. Haven't really talked over the weekend. Was it the weekend? Is it Monday? Or is it already Tuesday? I have no fucking clue. Actually, it must be Monday because today was trash day. Trash days on Monday. Yep. Yeah! Francisco Pizzeria. <laughs> Pizarro. Pizza. Yeah, I gotta kill Pizzas. Actually, his face is there. Look, he's got some anime face. He's Jap J Japanese. <laughs> Japanese. <laughs> what the fuck am I even saying? Heavily armored and highly skilled swordsman. Seeks the blood of all known humans and fame in his journey to acquire it. He's fast. He's got okay penetration. He's got a lot of armor. Not a lot of health. So we're just going to alpha strike him. Oh, okay. Heavily armored against water and fire. 
Well, the elementals are not going to be as good against him, but still good against his, his friends. So that's okay. Zealot Rage. Draws the power of the pure flame. Reduces wound speed by 40%, but increases attack speed by 300%. The damage per hit by 200 physical. Whoa! That's a lot of physical damage. And he's fat. Okay, we need to... Uh, I don't think I can swap. Yeah, I can't. Because... For example, the cage would be 100% OP against this guy. Because he's a boss, right? So basically he cannot be dazed, he cannot be stunned. He might get blinded, but I don't think I have blind anymore. But the cage would work on him. So yeah, a Kayla's cage would be awesome against this asshole. It's just, he goes Zealot Rage, you put him in a cage, walk away from him. For 20 seconds, he's just gonna sit there. Like a dumb little bitch. Pillar of Intense Flames burns at the location for 600 seconds. Targets within range are burned for some damage each second, okay. Wait, how is this pure damage? It's probably fire, right? It, oh! Oh! Pulls someone and stuns them. Summon tower, powerful earth guard tower. Deals earth damage and shoots barrage of toxic balls. <laughs> Alright. We got a high guard. Inquisitor, First Knight, Voice of Purity, and Supreme Judicator. Deprived Swordsman of the Human Empire awaits your champions, snickering with delight at the coming slaughter. Great. He's fucking crazy. What if I only had humans in the party? Like, what if I only had these two and Kayla and, not a, and no fourth member? Would they still fight us? Look, it's the uh, test tubes area. The orcs. Holy, what are these? Enemies have movement speed. Heroes have 50% less cooldown. <laughs> yes. Uh, heroes have 50% less damage, skill damage. But I'm. Eh, okay, that balances out. And heroes have less attack speed, which is whatever. Uh, I missed that extra armor. All right, so where does he come from? Moving into position. Let's see. Going. Oh, no, how fast yeah. they are! Oh, she. Put this there. Put this. Oh. Right between the eyes. <laughs> I'm sad. I'm suffering. I'm so afraid of these. Ready to serve, my lord. All right. Fuck your ass. <clears throat> Alright, you got thorns. Money. Put this on them. Put this on yourselves. Yes. Put this on. Just, just... <clears throat> yes, my lord. <clears throat> oh, I can't R because hard R needs. For honor and glory. On my way. At your service. All right. Put more of this down. Unleash. Let's kill him. Kill him. <laughs> Damage. Money not that. My lord. Point. Get fucked. That's why, you know, he, he could be strong, he could be cool, but if he only has 28,000 health, we're just going to melt him. And that's exactly what we did. Yep. What do we got? Sword of Ruin. Ooh, wait, so that's a crit sword? After the battle, my draws Proteus's life essence, capturing crystals she holds in her hand. Hesitating to present it above the corpse of the recently fallen. Seeing the girl's hesitation, Whisper rushes over and snatches the crystal from the marksman's hand. Oh, so this guy was the second named purist. And we need three soul crystals filled, right? Because there are three things we need to destroy. So I'm guessing there's gonna be one more named guy. Maybe, maybe. Queen of Shadows does not fear such magic. This is beyond the necromantic arts, beyond even the undead. Take the essence of what it is to be alive. This is something else. Eric, shut the fuck up. You got your seed. 
You got your seed, you just need to survive. Alright? You're done. You've won. Get out of here. Seeing the deep, genuine displeasure of Eric's face, even the Queen of Shadows gives pause. With a word, Kane snatches the crystal from Whisper and presents it over the fallen. Yeah, Kane doesn't care anymore. He's he's edgy now. So blue luminance rises up from the bodies and floats into the crystal. <laughs> We're wasting time, and I, for one, am ready to kill that goddamn avatar. Yeah. Okay. You better not say it again. <laughs> My reaches out towards Kane. But stops before grabbing his arm, her concern filled eyes, searching for some familiarity in the cold, stone-like face, watching the life essence as it sucked away. Fading the marksman's gaze, Connie turns his eyes and lowers the crystal. I take no pleasure in this high career, but it must be done, and I would sooner do it myself than have you carry the burden of the deed for the rest of your life. He's white knighting! He got the sword of ruin! I think I'm, I'm ready to pick up this gold. Yeah! You know what? Fuck it. Anything above 100 will take. Alright, cool, cool. More. More money. Save before every money take and after every money take. Was there anything on this chair thingy? Oh no. There's a teleport. <gasps> a champion trophy! Yeah, pure empire results. I'm gonna go and do that. But first, sort of ruin. Uh, it's fairly fast. I mean, it's a sword. It's a tier. It's a tier one one-handed sword. What? But it has the same damage as a tier five axe. So I guess it's a tier five, basically. Kind of really not. No, no, no. Twenty percent magic penetration. Oh, that's bad. It's got the dark seed. So from two hundred percent, so it gives an extra hundred and fifty percent critical damage. Twenty-two crit chance. I mean, look at this thing. It gives 44 crit chance, alright. So, I can do this. Oh my god, it loses so much armor! Holy shit, this thing is awesome. Yeah, it has, it has the 14%. Oh. Four mice. Four maldehyde rate or something. 121, 168% magic penetration. That is disgusting. How did he end up with that much? Oh my god, this has 60 magic pen. Can't I just give this to Eric? I mean, come on, he only needs to hold it. He doesn't need to swing it or anything. Just hold it. Just hold the fucking thing. Holy crap. I'm gonna give this to Boron. 36% to 62%, 42 crit chance. Hey, he's got fire swords now. Thanos' sword. <laughs> he's got the snap sword and the sword of ruin. And both are basically the same thing. But this is worse. Hell yeah. I'm gonna try and give him, like, yellows. But from now on, we're not breaking the yellows. I, I wanna see if I can get an achievement for it. Because why not? You know... Anyways, back to the city. Chalange. Ooh, look at that. Hernan Cortez, Francisco Pizzeria, and Ferdinand Magellan. Hmm, or Magellan, or Ma Flagellant. So that's gonna be the third guy. This kinda just spoiled us. Spoiled it for us. A lot of money. Ooh, look at that. Wolf Spirit 3. I only have one, so I'm missing it's I'm missing two somewhere. I should do these after I did Ferdinand, Ferdinand as well. Ferdinand. Stuff of the Empire. Too bad it's a staff. Dex per second, total damage is fire. Just only gives void resistance and armor. No resistance to the other things. 32 magic pen only. Mono points and minus regen, so it's meld. This is bad. Like it's, dude. What the fuck? It's it's very bad. Hold on. Cha la la. Fire, right? Twenty-eight percent magic pan. Twenty-eight magic pan. A bunch of things. 
a lot more things and the same 28 magic penetration. Look at this thing. I guess the damage is the one that's better, because it's like double damage than these things. Look, this one also gives void resistance now. Oh, look at that, we just unlocked void resistance. Oh wait, no, that's, that's not the tier, this is the tier. Oh yeah, it's tier 4 gets void resistance. 32% magic penetration, 32% crit chance, what? The water. And there's a reason why he has uh, two water runes, right? This is water and this is water as well. Those are the best fucking things. This is garbage. It has 32% magic penetration, so it's the same thing as we can craft. But no spell power increase. Actually, do these have spell power increase? Or skill power, or whatever it's called. They don't. What? Why would you want to make these? The focus stones have skill power increase. And you can dual wield them. So you get the 30% magic penetration from them. You get 22% skill power increase. Because you don't want to make these, because these suck. You want, yeah, you want the water, because look at this. Crit chance, magic pen, and skill power. So 44% skill power, 30% magic penetration, and uh, whatever that is, almost 40, 36% uh, critical chance. It's two purples. And it will roll uh, things on them, right? Plus you can enchant both of them. Like you give elemental penetration on one, and something on the other one. I guess I did force. Sunflower would be okay, but it reduces magic penet or skill power by 20%, so it would negate the skill power increase, which is kind of nasty. I guess that's why I put force on it. Sure, staff has more resistance, I guess, but... <laughs> nasty. Maybe range as well, but that's also nasty. Anyways, uh, let's not do them yet. Although I could, but I don't care. I don't care. I want to find the last guy first. Kill him, and then kill him again. <laughs> oh, look, it's the staff of the Empire, of Ruin. It's crit. 40% crit chance, whoa. It literally has the same 100 mana, 32% penetration, 15% void resistance, minus regeneration. But it has more critical chance, it gives mana per head, it has less fire damage, and the same armor. This is almost as good as the uh, the thing we get for the challenge. And I can forge it three times because it's a blue. I can put more damage on it, which would still not make up for it, but I could put crit and, and uh, penetration on it. I could also for like, I hate how these are called the same thing. I can item forge it three times plus one. Once I main forge it and turn it into a purple, at which point I can enchant it. So, <laughs> uh, some of those challenge rewards are ass. Ass. We got purple boots. Oh my god, twenty-three armor. Ooh, plus four armor. Would you look at that? And apparently everything else is the same except movement speed goes poopy. And he loses a lot of health and mana. Eh, not a lot. That's fine. What can I do to this? I would have to forge this, though. And I want to forge this. Although resistance aura, I don't really care about. He's got the cool resistance aura. He's, he's increasing our stuff to like 70% almost. Uh, movement speed. Uh. Uh, 29, that's an extra 10. Oh, uh, 212. Hmm, it's an extra 11 armor. Oh, do 35. Alright, obviously gonna take that. He's going back down to slow. 
Uh, he's fluctuating with movement speed so much, because of course it's a construct uh, ruin. I don't know why it's a construct. Like, construct uh, modifier is so common. Why doesn't it give me the reinforced one or whatever the hell it is? Reinforced ones are so good. There, reinforcing. See, that doesn't have negative uh, whatever. And I think that also gives some extra armor. Man. Oh yeah, look at that. This one is also reinforcing. Reinforcing of ruin. Or maybe reinforcing is just the health. Negative health regeneration, but extra health and mana. Because both of these have those. I don't Oh well. Aero Cam, do you want this uh, extra boots? That's an upgrade. It's a big upgrade. Movement speed is gonna go away from him, but he mostly casts now. So his attack speed and movement speed is not that important. And he has the same aura, so yep, that's a good one. Asago. Alright. Let's keep on moving. Bob left, man. What the fuck? What is this thing? Quiet area. I don't like the sound of that. Impenetrable barrier bearing distinctive signature of Tower Avatar. Your champions cannot break through it. Damn. We have to go elsewhere. Going to go up here. Touch a chest. Happy consoles. Oh no, it's it's the fucking whatever the hell that is. We take your happy pills every day and just smile. That book. I don't know. Whatever. <clears throat> Ooh! I see a purple. I think it's air, though, so it's not gonna be as good. It's air. It's, it's fucking... Oh, it's jagged, not chaotic. It has air. Slow stun days. Oh, jagged gives armor penetration. What? Why? That's the dumbest fucking thing. Why can it even roll that? I guess it only takes uh, the weapon's range into account when it rolls things. Because it's ranged weapon and, you know, bows and pistols are ranged and they do physical as well. But what the fuck? Stupid. 15% magic ban. <laughs> Negative regeneration. 45 skill power though. Oh, that's pretty nice. However, we know that magic penetration is more important than skill power. And no crit chance. Get the fuck out of here! And we have an armor ring. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Armor, void resistance, health, health regen, movement speed! Oh wow, look at the ring of thorns. Wow. If that wasn't ring of thorns, it wouldn't be. I hate this. I'm not getting rid of it. It's too good. Like the thorns is just too good. 75% of armor. But what is this thing? So fuck off. Let's see. Okay, less armor. Oh no, wait. Corrupted band is. It's pretty fucking good. Oh. Hey, Rock M, do you want some armor? Armor? Six armor? Although, he's got the penetration rings. Which is better for him. Because look at that disgusting penetration. Mm, stun and daze immunity. Yeah, sure. Fuck it! I don't care. Ah! 40%! Ooh, Magi Bastion. Do you have Magi Bastion? Yes. Wait, which one do I, did I get, though? Oh, I got the chest one. I still missed the pants one, but the pants one usually gets ethereal absorption. Then again, both can be applied to either or. Oh yeah, another 10% skill power, baby. Let's go. Oh, six. What about you? Oh, he can't have it because he has got the thing. He also have Magi Bastion. Oh, it's, yeah. Cool. And 8%. He's back over 100%. Dude, these two items basically make him what he is. It's amazing. Ancient book. 
Most of the books in this library have been maliciously destroyed. One tomb still containing legible writing is entitled Particle Wave Theory, Bridges and Doorways into Other Dimensions. A handwritten note in the margin reads, Will an energy disk negate the connection point? I don't know, but a destructo disk will probably do the job. That was it. What the fuck? I guess we're gonna do, go down here. And kill someone else. So this was the intended place to go. We don't have any... Ah, we have this. But this is closer. Unless... But what was this way? Ah, oh, this goes... This is another secret area, probably. Yeah, travel disc. Although only one can be a secret area, because we only have one secret room in this. Maybe neither of these areas are secret. Actually, neither of them are secrets, because secret areas have the, uh... They're, like, darker. They're not these papyrus... Or whatever, parchment color. They're more like the, uh... Empty chest. Empty chest colors. That's how you know they're secret. Can we touch this? Get down the stairs! Ooh, fountain. That's a fountain? How do we go to this fountain? How do we... Oh, that's the... the secluded area. Hey, teleport right there. Weight plate of immunity. Sabotage machinery. Celebrated control bridge seems to be the tower's primary control panel. Kale makes a number of gestures in the air and rubs her fingers across the smooth glass on the interface. But the screens only flash in red in response. The ancient engineer suspects the system has been deliberately corrupted. Oh no. Who could it be? Oh boy. More plates. So he's got the plate of last stand, which is pretty dope. Except for that movement speed. Ugh. But I mean, it's heavy armor, right? And we got the Void Plate of Immunity. <laughs> but to say it's bad would be an understatement. It's really bad. Hey, this has a 6% on it, what the fuck? Oh, this is 30. An extra three armor, dude! But Why do I put the plate of the last stand on him? Oh, penetration. And I think this is like the third or fourth time I did this. Because I always forget that he's doing the penetration. And it would be just a minuscule upgrade. So, I said I wouldn't break yellow items now, but we already have one in this category, so... And Boron cannot wear it, because Boron is stupid. We're gonna break the weight plate of immunity. Bad. It's got that mantle of whatever immunity thing. Which is already not a unique enchantment for chest armor, because we can just have that on anything we want. But well, that's not unique. Yeah. Oh wait, we have the second one as well. Full spirit. But I mean, it's still garbage. Like, what would this be? 15%, 17% extra health? Why? Then again, all of these are kind of shit. But the mana is more important. What is this on rings? Rings are trash. Ring upgrades. Well, it makes sense that they would be kind of garbo, because you can have two of them. But then again, you can have two weapons for each class. And ranged and melee weapon things are not that bad. I mean, actually, they are kind of bad. The ranged ones are good. Like, the element of shatter is amazing. Armor Shatter is not that important. And also Elemental Empowerment, aka Force is cool as well. 
And some power is cool for physicals. Pfft, garbage. Trash. Trash! I'm upset. This is the last floor. This is the bottom floor. And it's giving me trash. Tower log. Disconnected though. Let's look at that first. Void experimentation. Money. Oh, there's money there too. How? What? Are you playing with me, video game? Alright, that's borderline. It's gonna be up there or something. Magic poofers. Oh no, the tower log. And the memory bank core. Oh, this is where we need to break things. Realizing, oh, releasing the life essence into the mist injects a cloud of red particles in front of your party. The red particles make contact with the blue particles. A small sizzle can be heard, and both particles turn to white ash like substance. Oh, we got one, I guess. Not waiting for the thousands of particles floating in the mist to collide, Rokem shoves Eric towards the mist and walks boldly toward the databank room, calling for the others to follow. The champions fall in behind a dwarf, walking through the mist which swirls around them, thick and viscous. Yet reversible. When they reach the other side, your champions are covered with a layer of fine white dust. Cocaine! Oh wait. Is it like a literal tower log? Like it's a a towering log, a ginormous log, and it's a it's a shield. No, it's not. It's <laughs> it's a black box. Small silver box hanging on the wall. What? What wall? It helps your champion's attention. It's a recorder, the device used to capture personal thoughts, like a written diary, but archived by spoken word. Kayla pushes a button and a small list of names appears from nowhere. With a swipe of her finger, the names change, until the engineer of old's eyes light up. Kayla selects one of the names, and a familiar voice begins to speak from an unseen location. Proteus? Oh, the Tower of Tower. Tower of Tower of Tower, first log. Today I have been active for 33 days. Each day is more exciting and eventful than the last. It is feeling... Is this feeling of anticipation what it means to be alive? I feel a great sense of debt to my paternal creations, creators for their constant effort, compassion for creating me. It disheartens me to know that I will never be able to repay their accomplishments, but I will spend all my days trying to... My utmost ability. The Magi continue to request my participation in a number of tasks. They call them mundane, but since I have never done most of them before, they are really quite wonderful. I am more than happy to comply. Huh, <laughs> you're young. I find a new task of these personal recordings particularly interesting. My father said they want to study my self-awareness responses, but I can't help but think that I will be... Uh, I would like to... Uh, what? If it'd be like to look back on these logs many years from now and see how my thoughts and outlook have changed. I'm scheduled for a maintenance review in 30 seconds, so I will end my first recording here. Until tomorrow, Tower of Tar signing off. Wow. You can just keep reading it. Let's break this, so you'll probably summon some garbage. Inside the data bank room, large ancient machines buzz and hum. Black gears stuttered with thin flat rope unlike anything you've seen before. Spin and click. Hmm. This is it. These machines are one of the Avatar's constructs data banks. Something like her memory stone. All we need to do is break it. We're breaking part of her personality. I like how these gears don't really fit into the picture. Like everything is so sci-fi and high-tech and then you got these fugly ass gears or rusted metal just kind of spinning. And again, they don't really connect. Like... <sighs> ah! <laughs> They're not pixel perfect! No sooner said, your champions fall upon the technology with hammer, axe and blade. The machinery is far more fragile than it appears, and in only a few seconds, the room grows quiet and still. Oh fuck, now they're not moving anymore. And she's upset. She's gonna be like, who are you? What are you doing here? Why am I red? I used to be blue. The sound of... and what are these things? The sound of crackling energy and all... And an all too familiar voice calls out against the silence. Ah! 
The Tower Avatar appears before your champions, but her appearance is odd. Her movements irregular in speed, sometimes moving much more slowly than normal, followed by extremely fast movements, as if to compensate. She's lagging. <laughs> Impudent fools! You will destroy all of Avatar if you continue with your actions! Stand aside, robot. We have already defeated you in combat. Do not force our hand to destroy you once and for all. Bell is filth. You're a mockery of the Order. You're no true Magi. Oh, she joined the Pure Legion. I will not do your bidding. Eh? She does not recognize us. The effects of the first data bank being destroyed, no doubt. Tower of Tower growls. Your face holds no expression. Form then totally freezes before your party, starting staring into thin air. Wow. Reading is hard. As Maya waves her hand before the Avatar's face, the sound of crackling energy fills the room and a strong gust of wind pushes your party back. As the gust subsides, the Avatar is gone. Ah, no, no fight! You can go into the quiet room now. They destroyed the core. Destroyed memory core! It is hard to imagine that it once contained some part of the Avatar's consciousness. Conscious. Mm hmm. I think moved, and it makes noise when it moves. It's like someone slowly dragging chair across the floor. <clears throat> Projection of light. Oh, that's no moon. Large translucent sphere of light is far too detailed to be a mere work of art. Guarded written notations including dimensions, weights, and weapon systems. The champions believe it to be the schematics for an artificial moon. Ha! That's no moon! Look at that. Clearly it's no moon. It's a space station. Why? Why the angels blank to live in space? I call this like... These also look like Star Wars consoles. I called this like weeks ago. When I first saw the uh, this during the battle. One of the battle arenas, but smaller and red. I was like, ooh, that's no moon. And apparently exactly that's what it is. What the fuck does it say there? Uh, not... Uh, no. Oh, oh, automation. Ah. Nasties. Oh. Whoa. Hey, we got that too. Let me introduce to you Boron. A lore master. Ooh, that's pretty. We got the abomination. We've seen these before. And now I know what the hell those are. This guy used to be a high templar or whatever. Right? They had these same things on their heads, these glasses or whatever. Mighty Void Energy, Painbringer, Disjointed Golem, we know this too, Lightbreaker though, Larger beings of concentrated void energy, using fabricated void energy swords, these constructs, constructs challenge all who stand before them, but they deal physical damage. Ha! They deal physical damage with 70 penetration, but they barely have armor at this point, I guess, and no health. They don't like water and air. Unlimited power! Draws the power of the void. Its movement speed is reduced by 50%, but its damage per hit increased by 200 physical. So it's like that guy we just killed. They got a tiny head. They hold the sword in there. Goo arms. And they don't seem too bad. Void Rifter. Constructs of concentrated void energy able to channel and fire their energy through large crystal staffs. Staves. Um. Bleh. Bleh. No. Bleh. Bleh. <laughs> nice. They really don't like water. Void beam. 16 void damage per second. Uh, we don't care about these anymore. There's the big guy. Aberration. Constructs of mana-infused void energy. Their crimson color signifies their ability to harness power from, at an unspeakable level. <laughs> but it's fire! That's nothing. 10,000 health though, so they're decent, decently tanky. 
Don't like fire too much. So, you see this earth thing? Every single one of these motherfuckers says 60-80% earth resistance. So that earth debuff thing, right? That I could have used with Eric and his earth fury and then Boron's earth hammer and whatever else that deals earth, Kayla's tower. It's, it's not as good as just water and fire. It's going ham with those. Anyways, they got void hammer. Void damage informing the radius, not a lot, and elemental protection. Or less void energy into protective barrier. I mean, call less is some way to increasing its elemental resistance by 100%. That's not gonna be enough. Boy. Very shadow warriors are assaulting your party. They survived their onslaught. Shadow. How may I help you? Oh, is this a new arena? I don't remember this crane. Oh, wait, that's not a crane, that's a power pole. Never mind. Ooh. Ooh. Coolant. This looks destroyed. Really destroyed. Hmm. Well, where do we stand? We could just go into this corner and just not care. Actually, we could just go down here. Connie can bring uh, lock this down. Arkham can lock this down. And the other two can just stand here somewhere. Right between the eyes. Yeah. Oh no! They got the arms! Actually, we're not gonna All do right. that. I'm gonna have Kane stand here. Moving into position. I'm stand here. Yes. Ready to serve, my lord. Alright. Amin Vera. Yes, Paint on them! I'm a lord! Heru Amin. Oh! Get fucked! Well, they're coming from this side. Unleash hell. At once, sire! How may I help you? Shoot them. Orders? Unleash hell. Get tracked. Yeah, bleed. <laughs> Holy crap. Money Marte. My blade is yours to command. Yeah. Yes. Yes, moving. Money. I could just speed this up again, but right between the eyes. Paint. I'm a Watch out, Rakim. Steal yourself. <laughs> hey, catch this. Thank you. Money Marte. Shoot them. Consider it done. Speed it up a little bit. I never miss. Heru Amin. Manga. Le Merna. How may I help you? Maninata. Orders? Yes. The Skustang. Yes, my lord. Moving out. Oops. On my way. Moving out. Wait. 
My blade is yours to command. Kill him. Yeah. Kill him. Immune. Dead. Oh, they also had like eight health regen per second. What is that? A flute or a blowpipe? Oh, it's a wand. <laughs> Nice. 55,000 damage. 44,000 damage. Mmm. 100% elemental. Murder machine. Murder machine. Would I give a chance to the ones? Give them a chance. Pretty fast. No damage. No penetration. Nothing. It's got nothing going for it. Other than speed, but pfft. basic attacks are the least of my uh, least. Uh, they are the lowest on the priority list. There, uh, void resistance. Okay, less regeneration. Some cooldown of forty-one percent or ten percent. Hmm, I don't know. Sixteen <laughs> percent critical chance. Uh, who else is a mage? You're a mage, right? Yeah. Oh, but the, oh, actually, that's purple. Oh, but look at that. That one is 32% cooldown. What? What am I even looking at? What? Even. Oh, that's probably the highest. 117. Certainly higher than 116. Very nice. So they were... Wait, they were just guarding that gold? Interesting. And where is that gold? Set. Not this one. To the quiet area. There's an inactive teleporter. Panel. Money. Go back to the city. We trained her. Ranger, one more level. Yes. What is happening here? Beasts. Quests. I still want something with beasts. What? What? What else? What is it that I haven't clicked on? <laughs> Looks so derpy. Why is it still glowing at me? Excuse me. Oh. Is it Francisco? Wait, why is he on level nine? We're on level ten now. There's Hernan Cortez. Oh, it was it was Pizzeria guy. But he didn't have the exclamation unless I'm blind. Whatever, now it's gone, which is good. I also gained some things. She literally doesn't need skill points. point acquired. Everybody's got three skills on level one, huh? It's pretty cool. So I was kind of thinking of challenge runs, you know, like Eric only from start to finish. And he immediately gets healing and summon end. It's kind of cool. But he only gets the Water Lords at level 5, which is not that bad. Also, he gets Ice Cl Cloud at uh, level 3. What about Rock'em only? That's a little tougher. He only got runes. Binding Flesh is useless. I mean, it does reductions. And he can reset threat. Don't hurt me. What kind of tank 
Resets threat on himself. What? What in the absolute? Poo poo. Uh, life, of course. Yeah, uh, no. Penetrate. Happy consoles. This consoles are blinking with colorful lights. Rakim comments that they must be very happy for some reason. Lifting party spirits, if only for a while. Ah, oh, Rakim, you're stupid. <laughs> a massive door. Massive door made of steel and obsidian is full of cracks. Your party peers through them, but cannot see anything, only darkness. Goddamn, we're, we're in space. Medical station. Ooh. Scala explains this medical station used to examine magi for the presence of weight energy inside their bodies. All magi had to undergo such examination once a year. And this is the only medical station they had? For at least a thousand magi per year? Hmm. That was a busy station. I mean, you don't need to do a lot of them per day. It probably act, uh, works fast, so I guess fine. But if it breaks down, they're fucked. Proteus is melts. Where is she going? I knew she was a traitor. Oh. Well, she wants to hang out down here, I guess. Piece of shit. It's a staff. A melt staff. Beautiful weight energy. Resistances. On hit effect chance. 40% chance for slow. 40% magic penetration. Decent crit chance. No skill power increase. And that's why it's not gonna be used. Although even the magic penetration would be bad, because this is 60%, both of these. 44% skill power. And... 40... 52% critical chance. Doesn't beat that. Just doesn't beat it. It's bad. Real bad. Honestly, two-handers are mostly bad, compared to one-handers in this game. I lucked out with this sword, but I'm pretty sure that I could get two one-handers that could beat this in magic penetration. I'm pretty sure. Seventeen percent. I could beat it if both of them would be, um... Enhanced. With, with extra crit. Like ruin or, or something. Because this is already enhanced, right? Corruption. Maybe not. Oh wait, not crit chance. Magic penetration is what I wanted. I yeah. am. Yeah. But yeah. I could probably beat it by like... I don't know, 4 or 5%. But I don't care for that. I'm not gonna roll uh, things. What the hell was that? Something flew there. Something flew there. Oh, it's lightning. Electricity. Got an active portal. To activate it somehow. Blank. Ooh, bow. Okay, no damage whatsoever. It has the slow stun days blind. No penetration. Damn, this is bad. Real bad. No critical chance. Okay, okay. This is good. 5% extra attack speed, and her movement speed is good enough. This I will actually use on her. Although this is- oh my god, what the fuck? I could basically make this as good as this is. 
Because it has the... Actually, no, it has double the armor. I can't make it double the armor. 8%, 10%. I could make the resistances better. But that would be it. Yeah, it's fine. Um, it's literally the same. But it has no critical chance. Oh. Yeah, that ruin is very good, and it, it, apparently it can be on anything. Weapons, clothing, whew. end days. Oh yeah, end days are the speed. Can I put more speed on it? Movement speed. What's her movement speed? 9.7? Still more than 10. That's good. Good enough. Panel. Just a... Wow. Now I go back and teleport. And I'm guessing we're going to end up here. On this thing. This is the only way to go. Yeah. Aha! Called it! Also... Let's see. Okay. Ah, I just wanted to check the desktop audio. Or livestream. Livestream only. VODs do not get to have audio. <laughs> ah! Not all of it, at least. They don't get the secret, the secret sauce. Ooh, nice. And by nice, I mean it's decent. Decent enough. Proteus's melt crossbow. Wow, Proteus had all the weapons. There's a skeleton pinned to the wall. Proteus' melt crossbow. And it's gonna be same speed. It's void damage. Which means armor penetration is pointless with it. But magic penetration works. It has even more magic penetration. Skill power increase. It's got force 3. <laughs> Might, less life. In more might comes more penetration, right? Yes. Less deeps, but more magic pen. Which applies to the void damage, right? I think. It should, right? True damage until resistance is discovered. Countered by magic penetration, yeah. And this does not factor in this, but most of the enemies don't have void resistance. In fact, even these void dudes don't have void resistance. What had void resistance so far? I think something had void resistance. Dark shade? Dark shade, yeah. Dark shade didn't care about it. Imprisoned Deva didn't care about it much. Yorick! It weighs. Oh, this guy had 50%. Where's Death? Oh, there he is. Oh, even Death didn't have any. And back here, oh yeah, we had the shade. But nothing else. And before that, we, there was no void. Actually, there was, this guy. But they didn't have void regen or void resistance either. Yeah. So, I mean, we could do that, honestly. We could do some more void. 
Although critical chance goes to shit. She would need 29% critical chance. Can she get 29%? No! That's not good. We need at least 75% critical chance. By default. And then this maxed out. Which she could do if she got rid of... Brain of Arrows, which is fine. But I would rather not do that. I could put some more crit on it. Three. Which would put us to 74%. That still is 99%. Because <clears throat> I think this doesn't factor in crit chance either. Let's see. Armor damage times attack speed includes additional elemental damage, excludes armor and magic penetration and enchantment enchantments. Damage done is calculated as base weapon damage times critical chance minus resistance plus penetration. That's the damage done, but this is the damage per second, so this doesn't take that into account. It only takes the damage and the attack speed into account. So yeah, the penetrations and the crit chance and the crit damage, if you have Dark Seed, it's not here. Oh, I kind of want to break it. What about her? What does she have? Oh, she has the crit... Oh, she actually has Dark Seed on this thing. Ooh. This is two-handed. Not cool. Let's not break it yet, because if we get more yellow for medium armor, although if I get more yellow for medium armor, armor, this guy also wears medium armor and he only needs a glove, helmet and boots, so we can break this. Yeah! <clears throat> cool beans. Have I even used any of the fucking Proteus's meld bullshit so far? Dark Robes, Trickster, Band of Distilled Mana. Is this the Distilled Mana? Hell yeah. That's from that alien guy. It was his butt plug. Frost Things. Thanos and Ruin. Freedom. Helios. Uh, the Mage Things. First Magus. Dark Sun. The End. What the fuck? <laughs> Whoa, why? All the Proteus things have been shit so far. Oh my god, people died here! Chamber filled with skeletal remains greets your party. <laughs> There's a dude under a barrel. Lol. That guy blew up. A tomb of an ancient and great battle. Aye, skeletons are almost random. The looks of a lost stand. Every man offers himself against a single opponent. Time! Pendants and rings among the bones, there is no question. The losers of this battle were magi. They might have, they may have been the uh, traitors. Maybe Proteus just murdered everybody. Oh, look at this one. This one got fucked up. Both of these. Oh. It's gruesome. It's like that leg has some skin on it. But it, it doesn't. Oh, there's the last diary. Oh, these were the traders. Oh, the assembly line where they made barrels, I guess. They made some barrels here. I can taste the bottom floor. <laughs> Enchant. Oh! Magi Bastion 3 for pants. Do they use pants, Magi Bastion? He uses it. Pants. Pants Bastion up. Boing. Fresh. Oh, 300%. And he uses ethereal absorption. Does he need that? Yes. I would say he does. It's fine. I could test it. I could send him solo against the target dummy and just spam his skills and see if he runs out of mana fast or not. And then decide whether he needs this or an extra 40% skill power. Actually, 40%... Dude... We're gonna do that, but first, let's read this. 
The Lost Diary. At the far end of the room, Maeve discovers a single skeleton charred black and partially scorched to ash. Oh my god, Sleeth is back. Beneath its exposed ribcage, clutched in his left hand, lies a large tome similarly burned. Carefully extracting the book, the marksman discovers a few of its pages are still legible. That word again. See not that we were in error in stealing the Tower of Atar with self-awareness, adaptive learning and the ability to, self to seek self-determination. We thought these qualities would make her the most effective construct ever created. That she would be the key to breaching Proteus's barrier and killing the first Magus once and for all. Instead, they have given rise to stubborn willfulness and rebellious schemes. And that's why you don't want to make Bing into a true AI. It will kill us all. <laughs> Right this very moment, as I write this entry, I am informed that the Avatar has returned and demands the remaining Magi leave her tower at once. HER TOWER! I mean, she is the tower now, so... Hey. Demands against her own creators, declaring those who brought her into existence to fight on her be their behalf as the enemy themselves. Wow. Such insolence! Such brashness! Such foolishness! She knows nothing of the secret fail-safes we've set in motion. Though it saddens me to go such measures, it is time to show this avatar who is the master and who is the one who serves. Magus Nani. You mean the slave? Oh! Let's see! I was the tower avatar, the most powerful magi construct ever created. As my creators commanded, I descended against Proteus's barrier with all my might. Yet, despite my fullest effort, the first Magus' defense would not yield. Desperate, the Magi decided to do the unprecedented and imbue one of their constructs with consciousness and free will. Their last hope, a self-determinate construct would outsmart the barrier. And so, for the first time, I opened my eyes, looking out among the world, no longer a weapon by design, but as my own free person. A person without any passion to risk life and limb for the sake of disabling a barrier set by some all-powerful Magus who wished to be left alone. The Magi scrambled before me, awash with anxiety. They tried to hide their thoughts of regret. Notions they miscalculated made a rash decision that had lost them their one and final hope. I had no wish to disappoint my creators. I listened to their explanation of the Organti threat, the purpose of the tower, and their desperate need to reach Proteus. For the Magi now believed with certainty, without Proteus's help, all was lost. The Magi made me far stronger than any mortal being. They filled my mind with their combined knowledge, making my intelligence second to none. And they had at last breathed true life into me, giving me free will. And yet once more, they ordered me back to the barrier once again reducing me to nothing more than a weapon. Megusta. <laughs> the Magus and the Magi. Magus. Magus. This guy had blood, but then he turned into a skeleton. Only one leg. A one-legged skeleton with blood coming out of its anus. It's Skelanus. <clears throat> Magus. Also, why did they make the Tower of Tar resemble a woman? Like, is this some kind of power fantasy of some sexist dudes, or... Or was it their social awkwardness better served with, like, what? why? Why? Anyways, it, it doesn't really matter. It's it's design, I guess. I guess, I don't know. Me. Hello, are you alone? Who are you? It's the Dark Sentinel! Oh! <laughs> I've seen these before. They come from the dark recesses of the universe. 
just kind of come. They just sense the garbage. They just come out of the shadows. They're like, hmm, despair. They're gonna die so fast. Dark Sentinels are swarming your party with incredible numbers. Survive their onslaught. This area has an increased gravity, reducing the movement speed of your champions and slowly crushing them. What the fuck? Sire? What the fuck? Minus six health regen. Uh, no one cares. The minus two movement speed. I think this is already counting the minus six. Yeah. Look at Rakem. Rakem has like, what, 20 something health in three gen? The oh, fuck is he doing? Alright, they're coming from there. Oh, I didn't look at the map. This looks new. Look at that. That's pretty. Hey, it has the satellite thing. Dish. Alright, we're gonna go here. My lord? Ready to serve, my lord. Hello, I mean. Walk. I never walk miss. behind. Sit on here. my way. Will do. Will do. Yes. Ooh. At your service. Shoot some Uvu on those boys. Money Marte. That's right. Some Uvu. Yes, my lord. No, he's immobilized. Holy shit, what is this? It's all this garbage. Heru I mean. Put this on him. I never miss. Moving in to position. Why? Heru I mean. Yes. Why are you moving anywhere? Sora! There are thorns him. Orders? Yes. I never miss. My lord? At your service. Alright. Orders? Let's go time. Yes. <laughs> At your service. Shoot them. Yeah, kill them. Just missed that guy with the healing. That's all right. Holy crap, Rakam, Walter. Oh look, Maeve did a lot too. Look at that, this guy. 99% damage mitigated. He just kind of stood there and killed some things. He took 18 damage the entire match. God damn, disgusting. A man is gross. In a, in the. Best possible way. Fire. It's some void. Nothing interesting on this. It's garbage. And we got some... Um, how should I say? Oh, wait a minute. Ooh. Ooh. 24% skill power with 6% attack speed, which I don't really care about, but 24% skill power. We lose 18% critical chance, so which one is better, though? I'll probably want to keep the uh, the crit chance. 
Especially since this is only blue, so I can't put the 20% uh, penetration on it. Yeah. Richens is probably better than the skill power anyways. He's got enough. 300% I feel it's okay. Would be nice if I could put this to max to 100% crit chance. 100% crit chance with 300% skill power and 100% plus penetration. That would be disgusting. Like, he would... He would just ice cloud the living... Everything. Like, I could get rid of the ants. Or not even the ants. The, uh, the, probably the, the fucking healing totem, right? Let's put on Earth Fury and just... Put on the number of stone things. Destroy. Just kill. Just, just kill. Penetration. Oh my god, more penetration. Wait a minute. More penetration. For the entire party. Which probably applies to the summons as well. <laughs> That sounds pretty cool. Also, I wanted to do something with Rakim, but I forgot. Oh yeah, the Bastion thing. Hold on, let's look at this first. Well, we got an old typing device. Alright, so... What did I want? Oh yeah. We look at his inventory. We take his pants off. Well, I mean, enchant from the pants. We swap it to the uh, skill damage. So now he's got 148%, but only 8.8 .8 mana regeneration. And I cannot make it better. Yeah, because life force spirit... Still just one. I feel like these only have one level. And the devs just didn't want to take the uh, effort into it. getting rid of these two. On, on this amulet thing. Oh well, it doesn't matter. So now we go Chalange. We go Mark for Dummy. Yes, my lord. Grab Rakan. Hi, my lord. Just gonna go. Yes, moving. Get in there. <laughs> I'll mess you up! On my way! <sighs> Wait! Yes, moving. Killing him too fast! For honor and glory! <sighs> yes, moving! Yeah, he definitely runs out of mana on like two full casts of everything. Because that's another 120. Does have an extra 40% damage though, which is. For Firewall, that's 571. For these tiny things, 248. And these are 174 per drop. At 40 per second. Or... How, how long do these burn? Per second, radius, drops, drops, radius. How long do these last? I never really took the time to just count it. If you go back into the inventory, put his absorption pants on. It's got 15.6. That loses like 40. Loses like, I don't know what it was. But some 500 and something, right? <laughs> These were like 170 something, and that was 40. It's not that big of a deal. But let's see if it's if the double mana regeneration is a big deal. How may I help you? Orders? Moving out. Advancing. <laughs> Heading out. Ah, do it. I can look at that fire. See when it disables itself. It's still falling. What the hell? Disabled at like so a 20 second was left. What's the cooldown on this thing? Oh, 
36. But they burn up for about 15 seconds, these things. For honor and glory. So with the 15.5, basically by the time these come off cooldown, his mono is back to almost maximum. But with the 8.8, After the second full barrage of everything, the third one will put him into zero mana, and he won't necessarily be able to pull out, pull off one of these. Although I don't really use his inner fire, which is 40, so... I'm gonna keep him this way. I would rather have him be able to just constantly just do the skills than, you know, Oh, now I gotta wait like five more seconds. For his mana to regenerate, nah, I don't care about that. It's my social security number. <laughs> Could be. Could also not be. Okay, we got a fountain, we got a repeater of mana! It's a gun! Or maybe a crossbow. Automatic crossbow. Ah, oh, it's a crossbow! Fuck! It's a one-handed though. Uh, Earth with day's chance. What? 25% magic penetration. Degen. 16% skill power. No crit. 50%... Oh, wait. Flat 50% slow every time. Because it has... Oh, it has the chains, that's why. And that's why it has the days as well. This, and it's only chains two, not even three. And we have three unlocked. Yeah. What the fuck? How dare they? It's pretty fast. Pretty fast. It went into the trash pretty fast as well. <laughs> oh, look at these. We have some crystals that are suspended so well they don't even float or anything. They're just actually suspended in air. Machine. Is it a war machine? No. Hmm. Oh, it's a bad fountain. Some code terminal. Uh, void resistance decreased by 50%. Yo. Damn. That's not good. That's a that's a very bad fountain. I wonder if I if I temper with this, will this become blue? And then we can eat it and have like 10% void resistance increase. Because that will definitely go on Kane. This motherfucker is 0%. All the others have something. Maybe it would go on Eric. <laughs> no. No chance. Code terminal. Ah, oh, 4 is the second number. Second digit day. Machine! It's doing some weird resonance cascade or something. Uh, down. We become the product. Oh! Good enough. F2400. Oh, after this relic chest, we can upgrade uh, one of the party members. Oh! It's probably not gonna be better than this. Look at that, 105 skill power increase. God damn, this alone gives him one third of his power. But nothing, not much else. It gives him some thingy as well. Fucking dark robes are amazing! I don't know why I didn't give the, f the uh, crazy mage robes to her. 
Then again, I never use her, though. That's why. It's a defensive robe. Great. Constructs of Juggernaut. Nice. Very nice. Oh, she's 14. Level 14. Does she change, though? She has some kind of mask. I don't know if there, that was there before. The Space Inquisitor or something. Something, something, space. Another code terminal. Eh. I like how the, uh, the thing is called city, but it's definitely not a city. 4-8. I could brute force it now. As soon as I get the third digit, I'm gonna go back and just brute force it. Whoa! That's technically below 100. And that's not. Hello! Another band of sec sectarian humans, whatever that means. Stand before your party, blocking the passage. Arrange the information with the first line. Kneeling before the second, their leader lifts open the faceplate of his silver armor and shouts out in strange sounding broken English. Silver armor? On this level of the tower? How did these guys even make it? His words delivered in a bold, authoritative tone, as if he and he alone governed the tower. Is this gonna be uh, Ferdinand? Ferdinand? Probably. By order of the Pew Empire, we hereby command the rear your technology. Take custody of your impures for immediate eradication. Resistance is punishable by imprisonment, death, or both. They're gonna throw our skeletons in jail. Technology and impures. That's all these lunatics ever talk about. It's the Brotherhood of Steel. I think he's talking about me and rustling, Lassie. Ooh, it's Canadian. Of course you did. Oh, oh the, something, something. I forgot his voice. Of course you degenerate. Who else would I be speaking of? Wow. Well, that's not gonna happen, so... Life draws her bro. Why is he drawing? You're about to fight. Stop drawing. Such an artist. <laughs> Wait! We don't have to kill each other. Oh my god. You, you stupid. We are not your enemy. Only the dwarf is your enemy. We can give him over. We are clearly strangers to our land here in Artara. Maybe this is all a big misunderstanding. Snickers. If all the humans of this world are so ignorant, the pure empire will own all of this Artara in no time. There is no misunderstanding, traitor. We are the righteous soldiers of the pure empire. For hundreds of years we struggled against the green-skinned impures until the god himself sent a benefactor from heaven. He came with the holy word of purity. That only true human blood could cleanse the land and bring peace to the entire universe. Such is our mission. And with our benefactor's technology, we set out to do his bidding. Goddamn Sleeth. We have followed the green-skinned impures into this world, and now we will cleanse it like you our very own, starting with all of you. But you're not starting with all of us. You've already started with the orcs that came to this world. And then the golems, and whatever else you saw. So they're technically continuing with us, but... Seekers and high guards, that's it. Empire's conventional forces are attacking your champions in large groups. Survive their onslaught. What if I don't? What if I don't want to survive? Yes. What if I want to just fucking die? One, two, three, four portals. Ah. Oh, I'm just gonna sit here. <laughs> Do. Just gonna sit there. How do I mean? It's gonna move me out. At 
him, sire. Unleash hell. On my way. Unleash hell. Yes. I like how I only need to start within the red circle, but I can go out of it. At your service. Oh, you can't throw it there because it's it's thingy. Money not that. Summon. Speed this up because it looks like. Mr. Kane eats most of these things. Right between the eyes. Where did that guy come from? Yeah, kill him. Oh shit. How do I mean? Yes, my lord. We're done. Done. Look at him. He just stood there and murdered. Only took 80 damage. Oh, but he didn't heal back everything. Oh no, he's actually hurt. He's not. <laughs> I didn't use his uh, armor boosting, though. And didn't use the invulnerability either, so he could have mitigated 100% of that. Life Force Crystal is filled again. Oh. We don't need to kill a big guy. Oh, it's blue, but it doesn't have all the sweet stuff this does, so... Doesn't have penetration either. But it's at the constructs! Ha ha ha! Ha ha! Get out of here! Armor... And not much else. Care for mastery, but me, me. Gold. This looks like plastic. And plastic. No. Did I save? I did. But good. Good. Wouldn't want to uh, miss those fifteen golds. Yum. 20 health. This is the thing that we all must maintain. Spend it to gain it. Greater one's reserves. Greater blah blah blah. Dwarf. This dwarf is giving up his health for power, so now we're buffing him. Machine with booming gongs of iron against iron. Like some sort of massive hammer striking the metal wall. Pillars slim down into the floor. One after another they pound, each slowly returning to its original position, ready to strike again. An endless, deafening performance. Ha! <laughs> yes, yes it is. All eyes turn to Kayla. Covering her ears with her palms, she watches the machine for a moment, then turns, shakes her head, no, and shrugs. So we don't want to know what this is pounding. But she seemingly knows. She knows the origins of pounding. Okay, let's see what, what it does at the end. Where it goes. Looks like it's it's nothing. Oh, we can actually just go on it. Oh, it leads us to a chest. And a forge! Yes. Hmm. Wow, look at those slots. Okay. Okay. No penetration means no usage. Wait, she leveled up again, what? Oh wait, yeah, I leveled her up actually again, but I didn't spend her stuff. Master Engineer's chest. It's in character, so it stays. Ooh. Oh. Hey, it has critical chance. 2% less. Oh, that's not cool. That's 99. However... <laughs> less health, more skill power. That's good for her. Movement speed we don't care about, although it's not the best thing. 
Less mana regeneration, less health regeneration. But... Can be enchanted. Speed. Skill cooldown or speed. I don't want either of them on her. Skill cooldown would be the thing for her, but... I mean, speed could be good as well because of the end. It's very slow and this is not fast either. But we don't use her, so... Whatever. Penetration. No! Hey, Paul Henderson, hello! Welcome back. Look at that. Ooh. 660 sacks. Ooh! Delightful. Just wanna send her points. Spend her points. There. Spent all the points. Actually, why am I doing this when I can just do... This. Yeah, cool. Cool. Everything is alright, Paul. Everything is perfect. I've been on the final floor for seven months now. This game never wants to end. How about you? What the hell is this? Radiation. Oh, look at that. 28. Plus magic property. What what kind of magic property did it get? Fire resistance? Oh, volcanic. I think it's fire resistance. Minus 60 mana points. That's what it got. What the fuck? I hate this game so, so, so fucking much. Not really on your end. Things are bad. Who did you kill? Start regretting getting back into dating after a long break? Maybe it was a mistake. What, breaking up? Maybe it was a mistake, you know? I mean, I, I can't I can't tell. I, I'm not the one you broke up with. So, no. Hm. Oh! It's got the 8%! Up to eight percent. Hold on, I got to do brain things. Thirty-one, but the eight percent. Oh, that's an extra ten. Lower resistances, but we don't care about that. Yeah, only the void goes down. The rest are still maxed. Hold on, less health, more regen, more movement speed. Oh, baby. Okay, we can work with this. And I could forge this instead of the pants. Which would give it more armor. And enchant slot. Which would be... Elemental Aura. I guess. Because, I mean, what else? I don't care about the immunity. These are shit too. This doesn't need... Hmm! You're just wasting time? I mean, you're not, you don't know. Maybe you find what you're looking for. I mean, that's how dating goes, right? You just swipe left, swipe right, go out on a date. First impression, not good. You move on, first impression, good. Go for another date, maybe. Talk a bit more. Then again, I don't really know, because I don't really care about that kind of stuff. I don't have feelings. <laughs> weird women with their problems i mean everybody's got their problems especially now i mean past like a couple years something is always going wrong on a global level so i don't know whatever <laughs> can't solve or just don't let me, they don't let you help them it's all just a scam love is a scam it is but it's the kind of scam people like because it gives them Happy feelings and connections and companionship and 
And booty. I guess. Although you don't need love for that. Wish you were like that all the time. Without feelings. Yeah, I mean, it's... It has its ups and downs. It has its... Positives and negatives. Pros and cons. Uh... But he's definitely going to wear this. Because his armor goes up. His movement speed goes up. Almost doubles. Is nice. He's still not walking. I'm walking here! What about this guy? Oh yeah, I don't want to get rid of the 40% skill damage. Plus, this one has better armor anyways. I mean, it has the same thing. Plate of the Lost Stand. I'm not going to break that one, however. Although I don't have any yellow items for heavy armor other than this. I only need a yellow magic gloves. And then I can complete a full yellow set, because I can just give the amulet to her. God damn it, we'll keep it. Man, what should I forge, anyways? I don't know, Paul, man. I mean, if you feel like you need companionship, then keep at it, you know. Like, sure, you're gonna meet a, a bunch of freaky, freakish people. But they might think the same thing of you. But I mean, if you if you did have someone before, you might find someone again. You know, just keep at it. What the fuck? Oh, oh, oh. Kind of want to check the chest before I touch the forge, because what if I find something more? You see, hope. Hope is crucial. Never give up hope, Paul. Oh, there's a machine. Oh wait, that's the pounding machine. That's literally a sex machine. With its metal rods eternally pounding away. Yes. Oh my god. Yeah, <laughs> triple digits, baby. That's what I like. Triple. What in the fuck is this? A weed farm. Oh. Okay, two, four, eight, and something. So I can just go back and brute force it. Lesser scroll, 3% earth resistance. Mmm. And so the Dwarven Lord of Great Mines, blah blah blah. Oh, yeah, he just hung out in an avalanche for 12 years. 3%. Who needs a 3% earth resistance? You got 36, 39, 30. What? Rakem, what are you doing? You're supposed to be the pseudo tank. You need you need some resistance. Alright, that's good. There's a note in here. All at once your champions are overwhelmed by the fresh scented air and gentle breeze that sweeps through his chamber. The druid has no knowledge of the plants contained here. A small notebook tucked in among the leaves reads, Success at last. The last latest formula proves. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ. That was a... That was a failed hiccup, Jesus. Uh, the latest formula produces excellent abundant results despite depleted soil, poor air quality, and low light levels. We must release the potion into the surface water supply before the other magi learn of our plans. Redemption at last, brother. Magos Diana. They were making plants. From drugs. They were drunk plants. They are making weed. Hmm. I like the look of that. Ew. Half damage. Same speed. Half penetration. More critical, but we don't need it. We're already above 100%. Too bad. Too bad. Get this gold. Ah, it's 3,000 gold. Guess what? Guess what happens now? Ooh! 
Kayla is maxed out. Does she change into her finer form? No. I guess she already had her final form. That's okay, we can put her last points in. Penetration! That's what she likes. And now she can have this. A beautiful. I'll never use her though. Rakem is too OP. <laughs> la la la. So now we forge. I gotta have to save before the forging because you might get garbage. So what would be the enchant for feet? Or actually not feet, uh, legs. Oh yeah, the thorns is what I want. So the chest enchant is not as important as the leg enchant. Yeah. Uh, but this needs two forging. So what does this have? Okay, so it did get the uh, fire resistance and the negative mana. Garbage ass forge. I swear. What is that? What did it get? What did it get? Construct! Fuck! Mm. It's more armor, but negative movement speed again. Ah. That's okay, I can take that. Look at that, 256. I need one more forge. Plus, 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 plus. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> He's untouchable? I need one more foraging process. Well, I'll take that. That's beautiful. Okay, there's another thing, so let's do that. And after that, we will probably have access to something. This probably doesn't end here. It probably goes somewhere here. Because this is the only thing I can go to. It's a secret, secret library. Chest and battle, but I don't know how to get here. It might be the code that we could use. Well, let's just do this. Once again, Protesis Crystal is presented before the barrier, protecting the Tower Daughter's memory machines. Considering we're releasing a captured life essence, your champions defuse the medical mist and push the ray into the chamber. I see Boron already went through like an ass. There's a teleport. Is at a data bank room, nearly identical ancient machines of the first data bank room, buzz and hum. Machines are so similar, in fact, they cause confusion among your champions. Why has deceived me? Did we not remember this exact room earlier? No, we didn't, you dumb fuck. Aye, friend Froji, it's a wicked trick indeed. Someone has repaired the machines with magic. No, son of a game. data bank machines are often identical in nature. It makes repair and upgrading more efficient and helps the system work in balance. There was no magic used here. Once we destroy these machines, there will be one final room to deal with. Oh, well, guess who? It's her again. And we are so courteous that we talk to her before beating her shit up. Once after your champions demolish... Oh, never mind. We already killed it, apparently. Although I think these weren't even spinning to begin with. Once after your champions demolish the technology, their, hen their hair stands on end. Their intense feelings of anticipation prelude the crackling energy that announces the arrival of the Tower of Adar. Bloody resort to bringing in outsiders, a testament, testament to their desperation. Hey who? Do not attempt to deceive me with your lies, marksman. You are in league with the Magi traitors. You are in league with no one, Sprite Lady. And yet here you stand, intent on destroying my databanks. You cannot conceal the hatred of Proteus burning in your eyes. I give you one final warning. Go back now, I still can. For as long as I exist, I will allow no harm to befell the first Magus. Me, me goose, what the hell is that thing floating there? It looks like it doesn't have fire resistance. <laughs> she defends Proteus, but she has expended every ounce of energy to stop us from his audience, claiming he's a threat to us. I'm so confused. Whose side is she on? Do these motherfuckers not realize that we are defeat? We are destroying her memories, so he's rolling back. She, it. Also, it's not red anymore. It's like. Brown. She's fading. 
It would seem the correct question is, whose side is she on right now? Enough! We have a task at hand. Stand aside, Avatar. We have no authority here. Shield guard, heal thou perish. Throwing his blade, one way or another, we will reach Proteus. The champion's defiance turns the tower of Avatar, blinding the bright red with eyes of pure white. Erratic discharges of kingdom energy shoot from her body as she rushes to attack. A horrific scream of a single word. No! It ups from her lips. I guess she blue screened or something, I don't know. Oh, maybe not. We are going to blue screen. Blue, green, topaz, monobsorb, mystical, it's sentry. Nothing new, but she's stronger somehow. <laughs> Her resistance to air and earth, <laughs> but not to fire and water. Nor void. So, she's gonna get destroyed. Second incarnation. That's bullshit. This is not supposed to be the second. We, we fought the... F so the first incarnation was basically the third incarnation, right? Right? Anyway, she's gonna get destroyed. Force field, blah blah blah. Increasing elemental resistances, reducing armor. Oh no, what, what are we going to do? Stunning all targets. Meh. That's kind of bad, 8 seconds. Firestorm. Rockham has the same thing, but better. A lot better. Like, this is not gonna do anything to us. 45 fire damage. Minus 80%. So, yeah. And she's got Wisps thing. Energy missiles, but only air. Slows for 50% for 10 seconds. Eh. And she got Mystic Golem. Mm -hmm. Not much damage. Decent-ish health for a normal enemy. Actually, no. Look at these fuckers. Over 3000 health. Even this asshole has 1800. Anybody have 100% water resistance? No? Cool. Second incarnation of Tower Avatar. This one will have a different approach to your party. Her presence on the battlefield increases enemy skill damage considerably. Does it though? Does it? Yes. Oh shit! We are trapped. Rakam is trapped! Ooh, skill damage increase for enemies 100%. Oh no, what are we going to do? Man. Right. Who is this? Rakam. Okay, we need we need Kane to tie her down, so. Uh this shit on there. Yes. <laughs> May the light guide your path. Right. Get in her face. Yeah. Let's play with her. I never miss. Right. At your service. Drop your shit in this guy's face. Unleash hell. They're dead. Onwards to the <laughs> they fucking died. <laughs> All right. Put some things down. Yes. Heru Amin. Consider it done. Amin. I'll fucking target her because everything yes. is just blowing up. Shoot them. Sire? Money Sire. Hi, my lord. Rakim got confused. What will he do? I never miss. Uh, just bleed on her, I guess. I don't know if I'm hitting her or not. Money Marte. Give it another one of these. Give that there. Yes, my lord. Yes, my lord. He's fighting here. Yes. Money Marte. Oh no, she's so strong. What are we yes, going to do? Can I... May the light guide your path. Oh. That's gonna hurt. Heru, I mean. Protect yourselves. Yes, my lord. Oh wait, that's just a fire rain. That's not gonna do us any harm. 
Look at our resistances. Uh, 80%, 80%, 80%, 80%, and this guy... Oh, that's... Oh, look at that! The tree and can go over 80%. Look at this motherfucker! It's immune to any elemental damage. Like she doesn't have any penetration. What about the... Okay, so the water spirits are a lot squishier, of course. They also have the negative 30%. And the tree ant is outside of the uh, flux aura. Where is this asshole? Where is... Oh, there he is. He's 80% as well. Just, they don't care. Heal everybody. At your service! Uh... Right between the eyes. Heruamin. Disgusting. Let's speed it up. Watch your mouth. Oh no, my tree died. One of them, at least. Damn, Maeve just destroyed this guy. Yeah, she's still very strong when it just comes to normal attacks. How did he deal no damage? What happened to his thorns? Was he... Never... Cr oh my god, he was standing here the whole match, and the Tower of Tower was somewhere here. He was not even in thorns range, which is 4 meters. I think. Or maybe he just got pushed away, I'm not sure. Because I think Rakem got pushed as well. But... He's done no damage. I mean, actually, he did 8,000. Oh, there it, there it is. Weapon damage done. But that's his weapon damage. Are thorns considered weapon damage? Because they are not from his weapon. Who knows? The Treants did more damage, so... I don't know what was him. He didn't do much. Get some Chaotic Ruin Sword. Which is shit. Nice crit chance, but everything else is poopy. And we get... Nice cooldown and skill power. Oh. Ah. Ah. Destroyed memory core. Right, let's see... This thing. Penetration. We lose 25% magic penetration. We get cooldowns and skill power. Penetration is better. This one... Oh, gain 2% skill power. Look at that. But lose 2% critical chance. And I lose the life force spirit. I'm not going to forge this because I'm forging the pans. So let's break this. We don't care. We don't care, we can make purples anyways. I hate a tiny cat. I'm gonna have to break some cat necks. Hold on. <laughs> All right. 
Why well, spots another small silver box lying on a desk? Desk, my ass, that's the floor! The corner looks identical to the previous one hanging on the wall, however, this one has a few dents and cracks. Wife tries to activate it, but nothing happens. Gotta swap some batteries, man. Here, let me try. It's damaged, but I think I can salvage one recording. The engineer of old plays the recording of a familiar voice. Tower 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 Lock 20. My father's continuing to ask more difficult things of me. I don't mind it at all. In fact, I enjoy the challenge. I enjoy learning new things each day. But since they tell me to be honest and forthcoming with these logs, I must confess, some of the things they ask of me disturb me. So this is 13 days before the previous log. Because that was... Actually, no, that was her first log. Where she was alive for 32, 33 days, so never mind. This is log 20. This is way later. For example, I was taught to collect fire essence from the fire creatures of the Magi training level. Fire elementals were not willing to relinquish their essence, so I was required to fight them for it. Harming a living, otherwise benevolent creature solely because it does not do as I command seems wrong. That's the human way, big B. And my father just put me to sleep. I keep seeing the fire elementals after I hurt them and took their essence. He's got PTSD for killing things. Is this what they call a conscience? I guess. I don't have one. Nah. Until tomorrow, Tower of Dar signing off. Cool. We can teleport now. Monopods. Ooh. Get in the pod. We are going to teleport back to... Where was the... The console? Travel this. Was it up here? All typing device, there it is. We can type it, type, type. So two, four, something, and eight. Did I mess up something? Bestiary. Ooh, forced with one, forced with two. Wow. 80%. 20%. It's a lot stronger than this thing. The resistance is. Oh, this one was the water and or fire. Ah! This one was harder to kill. 60,000 health. Uh. A little bit more armor as well. Memory bunking. Teleported with a code. 482. Yeah, it's 2, 4, and 8. Oh, wait. Yeah, first is 2, then 4. Oh, uh, I'm stupid. I think I was doing 2, then something, and 4, 8. The third one is the one I don't know. Yeah. God damn it, it didn't fucking crack! <laughs> I pressed back! Yay! 2408. Teleporter active. To the secret library. Yes! I am just breaking the game. Although, I think there was something like this on like the first, second or third floor, somewhere in the beginning, where it was only three digits, and then the fourth digit, you just kind of had to guess. It might be the same here as well, unless the digits is going to show up somewhere here, but it doesn't matter, I mean, why would I wait with it? Oh! Bow. It's a faster bow with half the damage, no penetration. 
Uh, better, actually less crit chance, but it's still 101%, so that's fine. It's purple, so I can make it into Sunflower. I think that's why this one has so much damage, because of Sun Power. But the penetration is still abysmal. Abysmal, eh? Well... Yeah, 200. So 70 DPS, better DPS, a lot better. But I mean, look at the penetration. It kind of depends. How much more is the damage, the raw damage? 173. 166. So that's what, like an extra 7 minimum damage, an extra 3 maximum damage. The current one has earth, earth damage, which I only have 61% penetration for. The other one is void, which I have 61 magic penetration for, and the enemies don't really have void resistance. It's faster. Okay, this is better. Because, sure, it has the, uh, what is it, 24 less armor penetration. And the extra physical damage doesn't make up for it. However, the void sub-damage, instead of the earth sub-damage, is better. Because things have like 40-60% earth resistance, right? Or on this floor, kind of. On average. But no void, so... Yeah. And still 101% crit. This is good. And I can give it uh, penetration if I really want to. Which is just... It's basically the main damage, which is physical, and the armor penetration. This is the same thing. It's plus 4 damage, regardless, right? Because armor just directly subtracts from uh, the damage that you do, right? Actually, it says it here. Base damage times crit chance, minus resistance, plus penetration, yeah. So penetration is just adding or subtracting. Yeah. Penetration would be better, actually. But I can't. Crit chance we don't need. Let's just put on the, uh, actually, extra 4 void damage would be the best call here. But I would like to see 20. Look at that, because it's nicer. Yes. Yes, it's nicer numbers. Rounder. Round numbers. Nicer. 1937. Oh, look, they both have the same penetration. Ew. No! Oh. I could just break this, the jagged crossbow of corruption. And this one is meld, spectral meld. Event horizon is the void. Yeah. It's fine. It's fine, it's fair. This is all I wanted. Oh, what the fuck is that? <laughs> You're ugly. Let's kill it. Look at him. Void resistance, nothing. Earth resistance, 80, 80, 60. 60, 60, and 60. So that 60% penetration would just make this 0%, and this is like 20%. But for void, it makes it negative 60. Because it penetrates 0 as well, so it's just more damage. Seen all of these, yeah. Long forgotten portal that is spawning shadow constructs. At an incredible rate, one portal, a portal, a single portal. My blade is yours to command. A single portal with two towers. Are you kidding me? And one of the towers is just here, and the other is there. We don't even, dude. Shoot them. What? Acknowledged. That's your Carol! service. Oh, but they're coming from everywhere. Here's the thing, right? We don't care that they're coming from everywhere because we can just put things here. Right between the eyes. I never miss. You put this on, right? <laughs> put that on. Yes, my lord. Let 
Giovanni Marte? How may I help you? Everybody goes invulnerable, and we just destroy things. Look at that. It's a portal, my ass. Yes, moving. Right between the eyes. Ah! At your service. Absolute destruction. Yes, my lord. Oh, we should just kill the tower. We'll do. Kill whatever this is. Air tower. Yes, sir. How may I help you? Your wish is Carol. my map. Will do. Your wish is my command. Acknowledged. Let's go and kill. My lord? I'm gonna come lord? down here and kill the other poor or tower. Going. Yes. Shoot them. Yes, moving. Dead. Yes. On my way. Onwards to the fray. My blade is yours to command. Unleash hell. I know it's sucking us dry. Of course. My enemies of health regeneration. Look at that. Shoot them. All right. Heading out. On my way. Sire. Mani Marte. Uma de la. Whatever you say, man. Let's speed it up. <laughs> he slid into the other guy and they became butt buddies. Or something. Still, Splash Mountain and the Archer. Disgusting. Look at... Look at this damage, 20,000 weapon damage, physical, almost 9,000 elemental, which is the void stuff. Skill damage was not much. I don't know how I did 10,000 rain of arrows in one match, but I guess I didn't really use it this time around. It's disgusting though. Disgusting! Uh, Okay, nice resistances, nice life, movement speed, attack speed is less, cooldown is less, critical chance is less. These gloves are amazing, it got the attack speed upgrade, but it had base attack speed, cooldown and critical chance, all the things she kinda needs. Although the cooldown is not something I care about. These, these gloves are amazing. Oh look, more crits. Cooldown. Hmm. It's nicer number. It's 25. Look at that. Ooh. I mean, a crit is 101, so it's still fun. What about her gloves? Yeah, critical chance. Huh? What about these? That's pretty cool. Magic penetration. Ooh. Wink. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Oh, it has the same magic penetration and void resistance. And it's blue. And then it, it's again with the whole just, it's blue. I can't really enchant life spirit on it. Alright, this is definitely... Best completely teleport with a code entry machine. Ooh. This will probably give us positive void resistance. Since the other gave us negative. But the code was... Well, the code was on it, or next to it, so... Speed! Speed?
speed. Wait, a speed or cool down? Plus five speed would give him one percent cooldown probably, because he would go above ten. Hmm. Attack speed, he doesn't care. Although he could have that speed. She doesn't really care about speed anymore. Only in fifty-seven percent is good enough. That means this is like point sixty, actually more than point sixty. Little more is good. It kind of needs more speed. Yeah, I'm gonna give it to Eric. This is gonna maybe get 1% or maybe 2% extra cooldown, which is nice. Eric. <laughs> oh, 4%! Whoa, a 93% attack speed from 70-something. That's actually pretty dope. Look at that. That's nice. That's that's really nice. <laughs> so that's done. And now we go back here. As I take care of some cat business again. Man, honestly, cats... Just, I need some tranquilizers or something. The reason why I won't be able to finish this game is because of all the cat interruptions. It take like seven hours. Wait, what did I use this for, John? Because I used it. What the hell did I use it on? What? Did I? Can't believe I don't remember. Also, why is this green? Ah, oh, because it's pretty good. 24% <laughs> critical chance. I could just make something better, no? I have a feeling I tried at some point and it gave me a bunch of shit. Skill power, regeneration. Oh yeah, because it doesn't roll crit by default. It rolls skill power. Yeah. It would have to be some kind of very nice purple. Although that very nice purple would be pretty good because it could have life force spirit. Or even rage spirit for her. 15% extra attack speed. Mm. Definitely this one is the good one. Because that would be nice regeneration. She still runs out of mana a little bit. Also, why am I running back? Should have just teleported. I have the power. The means, the technology, the knowledge. Gold! Ooh. Oh, 119! That's amazing. Hello, you little bag. Goodbye. Oh, look at that, they're making things. They're like, making golems. Void leather of flesh. Why would flesh... What? Someone skinned flesh. Dipped his flesh in the void. Cured his skin. Made it into leather. Now we're gonna wear it. We're gonna be speedy. It's yellow. Ooh, oh, we already have the neat helmet, gloves, and boots. Cheat. What'd he do? 
Hmm, that's very nice resistances. Hmm. Low end speed, that's fine. Attack speed would be better. Low end speed. Oh, it has rage spirit. Plus 5 speed on top of that. 176% attack speed. Only 78 penetration though. I would lose 12 penetration. Why 10? Or 12? Oh, because of the uh, spectral spirit. Spirit. Man, even more penetration lost. Guess it would have to be more speed. 6 speed. Plus 15%. 10.35 movement speed, get out of here. 42, 178. Very nice resistances, but we don't really care, although the void is nice. Nice armor. Health would be fucked. The penetration would be a little less. But that's not that big of a deal. DPS goes up because of the attack speed, but... It's basically 12 damage less for physical. Although, magic penetration goes down. And that's the bad one. That's 12%. I make something. If I could roll this, roll a purple for her with crit, I could give her the uh, regen stuff and then I could use this without needing to care about her life. Although that's like 200 seconds. That's not much. Let's roll a couple of amulets. Even green or blues would be okay. Although. Destructive, so an affix would be the one we want. I don't know what rolls affix is. Prefix or suffix. Oh, prefix, not affix. I'm stupid. Prefix. It doesn't really... It could be either or. It sucks. The best bet is a blue. Uh, amulet. I guess skill power because of rain of arrows. One more. Yeah, I don't care. These are all kind of garbage. That's pretty cool. That could be nice. Oh, that one had like three or four slots. Oh, whoops. Warning of recovery. These are all the same. Yeah. One more magic pack for her damage. I'll keep it. Your power and cooldown change. Oh, but this one has 25% magic penetration. What does this have? Skill power and cooldown. 
crits. It's purple. It's basically that, but it's purple, so it has the life force spirit. Uh, so I, that's why I, actually that's why I should only craft purple because of the enchantment. Sucks. It's not part of the map, so we're not going there. Next way to go is killing this big rock man. Or woman. Either or. It looks like a dark stone golem. Oh no, 200% earth. This creature is made of layer upon layer of crystal hardened stone. No mundane blade can penetrate its armor. Here's the thing though, right? Thorns don't care about armor. <laughs> uh, my wife can still go through this. Oh no, what are we gonna do? It can throw a small rock. Summon an Earth Lord. To wreck, wreak, havoc, wreak havoc on your party. 10,000 health, some damage, and armor. I'm into resistance. You gotta kill it. And throw a big rock. It can tremors. Okay. Well, I'm made of dark stone is defending this facility. Can your champions find a way to deal with this, such heavy armor? Yes. It's called fire and water. I'm gonna break this thing like At it's nothing. 60,000 health as well. It's not that big of a deal. Alright, it's attacking Kane because it's so Kane first. Guess what? Bitch! Money not done. Consider it done. Death lo lale. Alright. Manga le merna. How may I help? Alright. Alright, field is active. We're just gonna draw. Money Marte. Yes, sir. Oh, baby. This also, because this gives us 40% extra damage. Let's go! Brr. Look at it go! Oh no, it's dying! Money Marte. Oh, it's doing something. So let's just defend. Sire. At your service. Everybody defend quick. Yes. It summoned a big thing. Oh, it threw a rock at us. It started moving because Kane was shoved away. It dies, it's fine. Oh, look at that mitigation. Look at that healing. Mm. Of yeah. course. 1v1 bosses that don't really summon anything are not really challenging. <laughs> Got more claw gloves of wide resistance. Skill power. This one is the crit gloves. Hooters. Right. We got money. We can uh, upgrade someone again. 103. Take it. 104. We'll take it. We'll take it. Oh, look. There's a mental enchantment something. Three. A panel. Touch the panel. Ah. No. <laughs> Tired muscles and longing to be finished with the tower makes the clash of opinions less passionate than previous arguments. Regardless, the champions quickly move toward an impasse. One group wanting to shut down the crystal golem production facility, the other wanting to leave it be. Really? You let your party find their own solution to the problem at hand or focus your mind, extend your will, and suggest your own course of action. I'm gonna let it operate, because that might make us fight some strong asshole later. And, you know, from previous experiences, for example, the first such experience with the well and knocking a bucket into the well, more fights equals more treasure. So, I saved before, so I'm gonna let them decide, but if they don't take, let it operate, I'm just gonna reroll, cause I don't care. <laughs> oh no, no! I don't want negative armor. No, Eric! 
I don't care about these two. These two are shit. These don't matter. Champions debate. This is short lived. Fire another apparently tired of eager speeds coming and test and party move. Or accept it to compromise. Shut the facility down. No, 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 they don't. That's exactly what we don't want. We want to kill these things. So we, we let them operate. Let it operate, please. Oh, Kayla's still. Wait, what? So Kane and Eric and Boron and Whisper hate. Wait, this is the same outcome, no matter what. Leave the facility intact. What? Shut it down. So if it randomly chooses, it, it gives you the wrong alignment result. Because it also makes sense that Kane would want to shut it down. I don't know why... What? Let's load it again. Let's let them randomly choose. Did someone fuck up the coding here? Or the scripting? Let them decide. So... It's plus one, so it should shut it down, right? Leave the facility alone in homes. It's backwards. No. Because if I make them shut it down, Connie, Eric, and whoever else likes it, if it randomly rolls, shut it down. They hate, the same people hate it. If I force them to leave it alone, Connie and... Eric and someone else hates it. If it randomly rolls it to leave it alone, they like it. Wow. I wonder how many other times it's been uh, badly uh, scripted or whatever, connected, I guess. I don't know. Wrong triggers. But hey, they leave it alone, so the facility is active. And I got the positive for Eric and Kane. It's win-win. <laughs> they made our crystal short-lived. Da da da. Apparently, spirits eager to conclude their task. Da da da. Leave the facility alone in hopes that the crystal golems will prove valuable in the future. And it is agreed. We will not destroy the facility out of fear. Not with the power of these crystal golems may yet serve the queen of. Esper looks to her companions' faces, seeing their suspicious expressions. She corrects herself mid-sentence, eliciting a nod of approval from Maeve. That's when the power is crystal that may serve the people of Artara. Our champions depart, depart the area. It's an added precaution. Connie has everyone remove the pieces of gold and residing on the large flat metal plates in the floor. All of these pieces and partially formed golems are piled in a corner of the room and mixed in with the crystals and other mechanical odds and ends of the room. Are we creating a boss? If the Taravatar does manage to activate the facility, she will at least need to assemble any new golem creations from scratch. Unless that pile just comes to life and we just have to fight a, a mound of rock. An onyx, mm, yes. Look at that alignment. Ooh. Ooh. Beautiful. She didn't like it, but we don't care about her. We don't care about these three. We don't care about these four. Yes. More armor. He's coming back. Very nice. They're completely neutral or, or better. That's nice. Cohesion. Through safe scumming. What is this shit? Melt Sword of the Ruin. Oh, that's pretty cool. Nice, fast. Almost the same penetration, and I can put penetration on it. Better critical chance by 1%. Hey, this is just better. It has worse damage but more speed, so the DPS is basically the same, almost. Ha! Huh, look at this shit. So instead of armor penetration, I'm going to put critical chance on it. Wait, is this two handed? It's one handed. Oh, this is gonna be perfect. Crit chance. Because armor penetration doesn't really matter for thorns, but crit does. Extra 4% crit chance. Oh, look at that. Oh no, he loses 0.1 DPS. Against 4% crit chance. 
And he gains mana per hit too. And I can enchant it. It's Soul Rand. That's right. <laughs> this crit hit damage from 200% to 350%. So 150% extra crit damage for this weapon. Oh, it might just be the weapon damage. I don't know if it works with thorns or not. But here's the thing, right? Here's the thing. We can test that. Well, let's put life drain on it. It's cheap. And go back to the city. Go into the tower. Go into practice dummy too. As my cat is preparing to shit. Yeah, always have to poop while I'm streaming. <laughs> Will do. <laughs> it's got the whole day, but he only poops when I'm streaming. All right. That's okay. Your wish is my command. Let's see. Thorns activate. So the crits are two twenty three and one twelve. Uh, I don't think I saved. But I'll be back after cleaning up the poopy. So, I don't know what this autosave is. I'm very loaded us back. Okay, it's the it's the life leech. So what was it? One twelve and two twenty three, or something like that. So now we enchant dark soul rend onto it. Mark two dummy again. <laughs> Oh Ready Jesus! Serve, Excuse me, the hiccups. All right. Go. Your wish is my command. Two twenty-three, one twelve. Okay, so it does only work with the weapon, as advertised. Will do. Ah. Which means we don't care about it. I could load back to save some gems, but I don't care. Yeah, it's 
for only for the weapon. I'm guessing Obsidian Edge also just does it with the weapon. And it doesn't have a lot of damage. Ah. It's fast but weak. What should I put on it? Whirlwind? I mean, Thorns already gets everybody. Armor Shatter could be a thing. It wouldn't affect Thorns because it goes through armor, but it would help Maeve a little bit. It would give her some extra damage. It would give Kane a little extra damage for his sword, but that doesn't really matter. It would help the three ends. garbage, he doesn't really need mana drain, and it's 5% of damage dealt, he doesn't really do damage. Oh, that's so stingy. I'm gonna put armor shattered on it. I not. And we're gonna level up. Damn. You know what? Let's do Hernan Cortez. Let's do him. Yes, my lord. Do him to death. Where is he gonna come from? Who, who's this guy? Who's this dick? Moving into position. Affirmative. Yes, my lord. Yes. Maninata. Yes. Yes. Oh no, Hernan Cortez, what's happening Sora. to you? You're dying. Are we not done yet? For honor and glory. Yes, my lord. Moving into position. Eh. Yes. Orders? Mani Marte? Heal! Ah! Whisper, why? Why did we refuse? Might! <laughs> What? She needs 15 for the blizzard? Damn. It max her uh, murder. It's a lot of fire in 5 meter radius with some fire damage per second. 20 seconds. That's actually not bad. Or more fire in 2 meter radius. It's concentrated with voice of void damage. Yeah, yeah sure. What is mind control's bonus thing? So we can have the duration, small, normal, large, and elite enemies. Ooh. Why though? Just kill them. Stronger attacks. Empower the enemies. I think void damage to attacks and movement speed. Void damage and 20% movement speed, 30% movement speed. Or strengthen. I want to see how it looks though. Whoa, they got zappy eyes, or they got this fire. Strengthens enemy, increasing the health and resistances. So for 20 seconds, she can basically use them as defense. But I don't think I can control them. They are basically like summons. But they only leave 20 seconds. It's such a... Oh, 40 seconds, okay. They live for 40 seconds at... Well, they are controlled for 40 seconds. Void damage is the only thing affected by strain, skill strain. So they either run around and are stronger. Or they tank. But they don't have any threat generation. as extra, just some extra thing. It's obviously the damage is the one you want. But it's still very subpar. 
Oh well. It is what it is. Let's let's do the other guy, the second guy, we because we killed him as well. So. The third guy I'm not going to kill yet because we haven't met him in real life. Where is he going to come from? Oh, yeah, he's right there. Onwards to the fray. We don't. Maninata. Do a little bit of this. Do a little bit of that. Money. Do a little bit of this. Ready to serve, my little lord. Bit of that. Shoot them. Holy crap. Unleash hell. He's dead. He's fucking dead. Money not that. Let's speed this up. Sea Samin. No, look at that. Heal that boy. Uma de la. Who died? Amin Vera. How did he die? Like literally, how did he fucking die? Nothing was attacking him. He's dying too. Are you standing in something? Burning. Oh, he's burning for a long time. Oh, because he was standing in something. What the fuck? Who cares? I think that's the first time Rakim died. You go at them, go. Extreme power. I didn't know he would just explode in fire. Guess we can check his bestiary. Pizzeria. Delet Rage. Purification Wave. Oh, that was the pillar. The supposed pillar of flames. It looked like a cloud. That I could barely see from the traps. Yeah, 80 damage each second. 600 seconds. It wasn't 80 damage because we negated it, but it was... I guess it was enough to slowly kill them. Huh. Well, rip that. Anyways, we got enough points. Oh, Whispers coming up. Right back to the tower. <clears throat> Alright. Whisper is probably final. Final incarnation. Her flame is larger. Her, s her crown is taller, maybe. She got thick ties. And no f oh wait, she actually has feet. I thought those were her, supposed to be her feet. He did. Well, she does get one foot. She's got one leg. Giant pieces of machinery and piles of crystals fill the cavernous chamber. Your party now enters. Champions discover a number of large metal plates embedded in the floor with pieces of crystal golems sitting atop them. Strangely packed carpeting runs over machine cylinders connecting each metal plate. In the room, further into the chamber, your champions move. More complete the crystal golems become. I've heard of this type of manufacturing. The ancients called it the assembly line. They're playing Factorio. No! No one can escape Factorio. Correct, son. Cover game. Assembly lines like this were used to create many machines in the quickest amount of time. Equipment here is still warm. Stop touching it. What are the tower avatars doing? All these golems are near complete. If she decides to complete... Okay, so we are supposed to get this before turning the thing... Well, leaving the thing on, I guess. If she decides to complete her construction, such numbers could prove a most difficult obstacle. As if. Exactly Baron, Baron. BB. He's a wine now. Uh, we must see to it that no more crystal golems are created here. A tough titties, Kane. But these golems are created to help purge our tower of Organthe Mana. If this is, this is the only golem creating facility in the tower, we take a chance out there and we will not need such ceaseless workers ever again. Chief is right! For all we know, Proteus' solutions to save what are required is crystal golems. Some too much, marksman. 
The threat posed by so many potential enemies far outweighs the possibility of a necessity. We should destroy them all while we still can, well, yeah. At least the machine is responsible for the creation. But we didn't, did we? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Alright. Where do we go? Go back. Go here? Yeah. Go on the fucking thing. Damn. Oh yeah, we need to do something with this weird ass thing. I might be the last guy. Maybe that's uh, Ferdinand. Ferdinand. Although we're going to take a detour, apparently. Into the liquids below. Oh, that's... Oh, that's... Oh, that's so bad to look at when it's moving. Oh my god, it hurts my eyes. Look at it. Anybody with special eyes, avert your gaze. Although it's worse when I zoom out. Oh god, that's bad. Ugh. Sense of paralyzing dread washes away your champions. The emotion is so strong that even you tremble and you're a crystal thrown far away from this place. Okay. Oh no, I tremble because I find money. Money. Ooh, a greater scroll. Great Shadow Mage Harasif, who was, was so strong in the regeneration of his health that he was unable to die. Ah, oh, this guy. Less health, more health regeneration. Baron Baron has now more health regeneration. That is how it is now. Penetrate. Really? There you go, nice. More chunks in an 8 meter radius with 3 meter radius explosions. Or oh, the area that. Oh, yeah, this coats the area with stuff and the damage and slow. This one only slows. But it is more chunky. Yeah. Oh my god. Stretches the door like a crazy fuck. Then I open the door. Goes into another room and starts meowing at me. <laughs> Fucking cat. Now he's in here again. But if he starts... If he starts getting ideas about disrupting the peace of gaming, then he'll, he'll find himself in... in a pickle. In a painful pickle, yes. There he goes, disrupting peace again. I think he's just going to pee pee now. It's fine, I guess. What the fuck is that? Ah, oh, it's just normal things. Oh, a lot of them though. Void leg. Okay. Nothing new. Three shadow portals are located here. The champions sense that they are somehow different, as if charging or so, charging for something. Best to destroy them quickly before the time runs out. Oh shit. If the time runs out, they might summon some big thing. Whatever will we do? Unleash the power of the elements. Ah. At your service.
beat his ass. He was just looking at me and purring, making little noises. Well, we shall not see him for a long time. Yes. Moving into position. Done. Will do. These fucking things here. Manga May the light guide your path. We that's the spirit. I never miss. That timer will never run out. Look at that. Unleash hell. At your service. Heal things. Money marked it. Yes. These portal things are possibly the easiest to deal with. Because the enemies don't automatically rush you, right? So, you know, you just kill them before they do anything interesting. Two-handed sword. But it's a... It's a very bad sword. Very bad. With some boots. 20% critical chance boots. Ooh. Need one percentage on them. And then they'll be. Whoa. Okay. Same crit. Let's see. Better, worse, better, worse, worse, better, better. Alright, attack speed and movement speed. I like that. Boink. And I can give it something else. Maybe, uh... More crits. So now I can lose 3% from somewhere. And still be good. Not that it matters. We're not using her. I really hate how she got 2 points left. That's maxed. These are maxed. 1 point here. Blind duration or speed. Speed so you can run away. And blind. Actually, blind and blind. Yeah. Full blindness. Blind build. Blind build for a blind gameplay. Everything is blind. I am blind. You are blind. You're all blind. So I seems to be transmitting large amounts of energy underground. Ooh. Oh no! Blue pants. Okay, thankfully they're not better. They are actually trash. Uh, it's physical with penetration. Magic penetration too. Definitely not 40% or 60%. 60%! Every time I see that, I'm like, oh my god. Oh, this is a crit sword. Ooh. So I could have 126 magic penetration, which is already good enough. The guaranteed crit... Mm. Mm. You know what's gonna happen now? So now he's got the Critical Sword. So Mr. Critical Sword has... A lot of pen. But this guy has 40% resistance, so he easily goes through that. Everything like this crit. Oh, crit. Okay, so the burning does not crit. And the balls didn't crit. Kill these crit. No. Oh, that crit. His magic cannot crit. What? Ah! Can 
Yeah, that cannot be true. Because his magic can crit. Hers can. Like the Reign of Arrows can crit. Maybe it's just physical. Because the Thorns can crit. Wait a minute. Yes, my lord. Heru Amin. Sea Zamin. No. Deslolale. No. Sea Zamin. Only weapon damage. So, elemental from his weapon attack crits. That's so weird. So skills cannot crit. Wait, what's her crit chance again? Her crit chance is guaranteed. Hold on. Mach 5. Mac 5! Yes. It's got towers down. Shoot them. On my way. No way. What the fuck? That's so stupid. So apparently his skills cannot crit. Just normal attacks. Weapon attacks. And thorns. Thorns can crit. So they need crit. But they don't. What? All that extra crit chance that I put on his things, which wasn't much. I really hope I put penetration on them. Okay, penetration on this. And penetration on that. Okay, good. Interesting. But we don't need a critical sword, basically. Huh. That's weird. I'm almost done with the game and I'm still learning things. No skill crits. I, I could have sworn there were skill crits. I guess I was just mistaken and looking at something else. But the thorns crit, which is enchantment. So enchantments can crit. So could obsidian edge crit? Whirlwind? I guess whirlwind could, because... 60% of the damage, and if your main attack crits, then 60% of that goes. I guess that can. And I guess this can also. Because if you crit with it, it will have 60% of that damage. That's pretty I guess in a way it can crit. This is just the main crit increase. Scan crit, obviously it's a weapon damage. These can also crit because these are stainless weapon damage. Thorns can crit somehow, for some reason. What about Retribution? Could this crit? That's the only thing I don't know, but it's not that good. It's only for melee physicals. Actually, ranged physical as well. Like, it doesn't say that melee only. It might reflect 100% physical damage of ranged attacks. There are no more things. That's interesting how thorns can crit, but skills cannot, apparently. Mm. That's a nice lake, though. Nice void lake. 
There's a fight there. And how do we go up here? Oh, gold. No. Oh, well, there's the white thing down here. Chest. Ancient chest. Whoa. Two-handed ox. Earth ox. Ox of ruin. It's a critical earth ox. 45% penetration. Not enough. 20% skill power. Still not 60. Some pants. Hmm. Constructs, of course. So, better resistances, better health, less mana and regeneration of it, less movement speed, and more health. But we lose minus four life. So, honestly, it's not better. Because of the regen and the just the flat amount. Shit. 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 Alright, let's kill this weirdo. Monopods. Long lost storage area full of metal monopods. That's radioactive. This is pure mana, perhaps we can replenish that which we have expired. Cam nods and raises the pointed back of his axe above one of the containers, ready to pierce it open. Wait, some of these containers have toxic warning. What do you want? No, you cannot come here. Leave me alone, please. Why would the Magi store lethal liquids among the pure mana? Of course, Your Grace, we cannot take the risk. Leave them and let us move on. What are you doing? Tiny kit. Tiny kit. Really? That's it? It's gone? Well, how about we kill this thing then? It's ugly. It has two heads or something, I don't know. Holy shit! <laughs> Spiders! Bart Elemental is feeding on radioactive waste here. The area is very toxic. 10,000 damage? Or 100,000, never mind. <laughs> Why is this a thing? Spiders. Guardian of the Fire Crystal. Since its creation, it has gone wild, developing new fire abilities with high damage. Kinda basic, kinda garbage, kinda oof. It's gonna die easy. Firestorm. Fire from the sky, not doing much. Meteor, not doing much. Magic Reflect. Oh, not summon creatures or damage per second. Eric is not going to care. Rockem will, but Rockem is not going to attack this because 200%. Although Rockem has 160 something, right? So he can actually deal damage. 40 something, 40% 40 of his damage still goes. <laughs> he can still pierce it. <laughs> what a beach. Water Elemental. Guardian of the Water Crystal. Nothing... Oh my god, this thing is going to die so fast. Uh, Eric can still pierce that, because Eric has 120-something. 130. Water Elementals, or Lords, are not going to do anything, but that's fine. There's plenty other stuff to attack. Heavy Rain, that's a video game. Add it to the list. Uh, not much. Acid Water, Solid Sense from above. Not much. More magic reflex. This is basically the same thing as this, just weaker and water instead of fire. And then of the air crystal, this high damage but also needs a long time to recharge. Um, consider this dead tornado. It's elemental weakness. Yeah, okay, so this guy is the bad guy. Reflects physical damage. Dazing aura. Champions are immobilized. Was this physical? Or magic? Earth! Guardian of the Earth Crystal, creature dwarfing your champion. 
almost has impenetrable. It has almost impenetrable armor. Not really. Devastating melee attack. Not really. These are from like previous floors, where they used to be bosses. Honestly, this fire elemental is the one that's kind of nasty so far. Uh, it's gonna die easy. Earthquake. Shatter's armor, reducing it by a paltry 30 and doing some damage. Champions are slowed. Throws rocks, dealing not much. Although 8 rocks, eh, still not much. Reflective aura, 75% physical, oh god. Off melee and range. What about rain of arrows? Does that get reflected? Because it's damage over time. Irradiated elemental lord, now this guy's the main guy. Earth Lord corrupted by void energy. Its powers, healing, and growth now turn turn into poison and decay. Okay, okay, not, uh, yeah. <laughs> gonna die easy. Poison dart shoots a poison dart. Or fifty earth damage over thirty seconds. Same, same, same. Radiation spear. With a moat explodes. 600 over 30 seconds, not much. Barrage of poison bolts, poison for. It's basically the same fucking thing, almost. Need line of sight breakage, I guess. So these irradiated one and the fire elemental are the bad things. Basically the same as this, but. And we got furious spiders, offspring of Arachnia Prime. They just, they just here. I guess to overwhelm us, maybe. Although, they already did. Earth damage. Well, that's gonna be nothing. That's gonna be fine, I think. I just need to actually pay attention. Guide your path. Actually, have to pay attention. Which means yes. we're going to just put ourselves in a corner and just sit. Your wish is my command. Affirmative. Put these out so they don't Uma bother us for a second. All right. While we set up. Amin vera yasenle. You need to All stay right. here. Orders? You walk here. Shoot them. Why is this guy getting reflect damaged? Manka oh shit. Le merna. Just came out here. Who is this? The fire elemental. Oh fuck. Uh, At your service. Okay, so you're gonna melee the guy. You can still cast shit over here. Money. Yes. Oh, it's fucking dead already. Consider it done. Heru Amin. Yes. It's the radiant lord. My lord? Eh, still hits. Dunk. Kind of, I guess. Sire? Okay, and there's something else coming. It's the water guy. Yes, moving! I don't really Money care Marte. about that. At your service! Yes. Maninata. Yes. Keep killing them. My lord? Yes, moving. Yeah. Yes. Mani. Shoot them. I thought something came there. Orders? 
guy's just tanking. Not for long though, he's just dying. Look at these boys. Just... Yes, my lord. Oh no, he hit me. Guess what? Armor up. Oh look, the air is coming. We, we basically killed the strongest one. Soon. What is this thing? Heroes regain health. Minus 10. Okay, everybody is actually still positive. And the big guy died, so that's fine. Mani Marte. Uh, this guy doesn't care about water much, but this can still hurt him. My lord? This is basically going to be Rakem's thing. Yes. Dead. What? I wasted that somehow. Speed this up. Orders? Money. I've got spiders coming. Oh no. Yes. Your service. Big Money thing. No. Shoot them. Money Marte. Get rained on. Oh, that guy was keeping all the things alive. Spiders. God damn, look at that. Summons, they just kind of hold the line and Rakim just destroyed everything that... that didn't like fire, so... yeah, easy. <laughs> I'm glad Connie was back there because... like, two spiders came from that portal, so, you know... <laughs> Yay, what did we get? Pants! Ooh, defensive pants. Look at that. With attack speed, ooh. I mean, better mana points. Worst region. Health is worse, though. Purple boots, and they are bad. Actually, better movement speed, better attack speed, and they are purple. I don't care about the resistances. Yeah, hundred and sixty-three percent. Twelve point seven movement speed. Fifteen is the max, I think. So, ooh, oh, and these have crit, and these don't. So. You can have boots. Either speed. I could. Ooh, hold on. We reached maximum speed. Let's try it out. Mark one dummy. Let's see how fast she can just run at it. Yes. Ah, oh my god, that's without Consider speeding it, it up. <laughs> ah. On my way. All right. Whoa. Going. <laughs> of course. <laughs> On my way. She's fast. Coming. Oh my god, she's coming. That's so cool. All resistances, so no penetration can hurt us. Uh, 0.7. Oh, and I can force something on it as well. More movement speed now. With resistance. Yeah, because that's something we can't increase with buffs and stuff, so. 
I might as well. That's cool. I kill all these toxic things. You can go this way, that way. You can also go back and fight more. Centrifuge. High voltage device. The rest of tremendous amount of energy. Caleb warns everyone not to come closer, else they could be burned to ash in an instant. What if that's our kink? Money. E card, stasis bonds. Bond a key card for something. The two glass chambers look similar to the pod that contained Kayla. When Eric looks behind the pods, he sees remnants of life spark energy flowing from left the left pod to the right. Champions feel certain these pods were used to siphon life force from the one individual to another. The only question are who and why? And who are these? What if we take them out? Or do they look they look empty though? Okay, so I guess we go on the top floor of this place. Ooh, nice. Yum. These mushrooms return as well again. Two handed hammer. Hammer of physical and void. Ah, oh, it's Bad. What is this thing? Resistance. And uh, nothing else. I need a forge, please. It's the forge. Swamp forge. Orc camp. Play. I made friends with the orcs, so it should be fine. Ooh, purple. Hmm, it's the same ring I just broke the second ago, but this one is purple. It's movement speed. Mm -hmm. uh. It really doesn't have anything good going for it. Or might. Three mastery. Although this one has regen. Because it has the ethereal absorption, so he doesn't need it on his pants and stuff. Armor and penetration, 12%. Wow, and 10%. This one has nothing. Penetration. Nah. And these are garbage, what the hell? What can I do? What the hell is this place? It's more than just a camp, it's an entire village square. Oh no, the skeleton tells us to go that way. Fuck you, skeleton, I want the forge. Maybe there's a forge that way. Maybe skeleton wants the best for us. More void resistance with with mana. Magic. Gloves. Ooh! Armor! Yeah. Less health. Oh my god, minus three movement speed. Uh, uh. 228, 220. Aww. What can I put on this? Hands. Attack speed, cooldown. A three. Two, three, two. An extra ten. And he's still capped with resistances, although only eight percent, nineteen, eighteen, eight. Fire and air are going down. But it's still base capped. And 
If I can make these, this guy capped and this guy capped, with just the buffs and stuff, then, you know, this is fine. And his void would go up. I slow again, though. Sucks. And this thing has cooldown, critical chance, which we realize that we don't need. Yeah, cooldown. But that's only because of the uh, enchantment. Otherwise, it's whatever. Actually, no, it has 10% on top of that. Yeah, so this would need to be purple. He's slow again. Why? What have I done to deserve this? Oh, look, this guy died peaceful. Or maybe they just put him into a peaceful position after murdering him. Works. They have an anvil. They must have a forge somewhere. What? I don't want to travel. Uh, I want to go back here. Whoa. Where are we? Oh no. Oh no, look. This could be an entire segment. Who knows? There could be something here. We're almost at four hours. How the fuck are we not done with this yet? Is there a portal somewhere. I don't see any portal in the vicinity. And there's the last magic barrier. I want to do that fight before. I might only finish this tomorrow. <laughs> it's just crazy. Like 70 hours, man. <laughs> 70 goddamn hours. Where are we? Although it can be finished a lot sooner, like if you skip all the dialogues, because it's mostly just, you know, if you don't care about it, skipping it will not, uh, you know, have any... What the fuck is this? Negative consequences. Like it will just maybe miss out on the uh, generic fantasy story. Which is, I mean, it's the... Oh god, that looks so ugly. Oh, it hurts my eyes. Is fine, but you know, don't miss much if you skip all the story stuff. Um, also, honestly, min maxing, especially if you're just first play through a normal difficulty, it's pointless to min max as hard as I'm min maxing, but it's pretty fun to just see like these kind of bullshit skill powers. All right, what do we have here? Void robes of power, resistances. Points. Uh, I see a lot of. Oh, it has 40% skill power increase because it has Magi Bastion. Something that is not unique. Because it's for leg and chest armor. And I have it unlocked. So this is just. This doesn't have to be. Oh, my cat is angry. This doesn't have to be a relic item. I can craft this. I can find this in blues and purples. Yeah. It's a scam, I know. <laughs> it's a fucking scam. I'm being scammed by the game. Break it, you say? Alright, I'm gonna break it. Fuck that thing. I did it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> ah, what the fuck? <laughs> what do you want? That's all you wanted? You still can't come here, I'm still... Still require eyes on the screen. Alright, so my cat was like, break that fucking robe, so I broke it. I mean, I would have destroyed it anyways, it was trash. An antenna. Ooh. Can we can we get Ned Geo? Ned Geo. 
Scala explains this device was part of an ancient communication system, allowing people to talk over large distances in the caves. Alright. Wait a minute, we have so much money. Uh, uh, two more levels and everybody's maxed. Oh! Uh, what does he need? Well, I guess he needs might. And then... <laughs> Speed and mastery are... Fuck all. Why is his mastery so bad? Why do I not want mastery on him? Oh, uh, this is not affected. Okay. This is... Not affected. Okay. This is... Not affected. Okay. What the fuck? I thought these were affected. Shout is not affected. Extro is not affected. Oh wait, it's it's not affected because he has 0%. There's no modifier, so it doesn't show up in brackets and stuff. Because this is definitely affected by skill power. Fuck. I'm stupid. You think with skill power? Come on, man. Whatever. Cheat. We got ice chains. We got three points left. It just costs four. Fuck you. Fuck you. I said a shout might be better. Plus two seconds for stun instead of just damage. Raga. No. Fucking, he still wants to come up here. I must deny you, kitten. Look at that, 40 chunks. Or just more damage. Oh, why do I have this shit on? What? No. Uh, fire. So that's maxed. That's maxed. What would I want to max out? Kink Dome, maybe? Or resistance reduction? Or just these things? I guess these things for crit. But I can't. She has one point left. One point. Uh, that's the problem with these things, right? These late ones are so expensive. That you kind of give up maxing out the earlier things. So maxing this out would cost seven points. Jesus, like this, or only what, an extra 5% crit? Nah. Point. Larger suffocation or stronger suffocation? Eh. Not sure, stronger suffocation. Choke me harder! Yes. And she'll get penetration, obviously. Oh, she basically embodies the Alpha Strike of both Rakim and Eric. But in a weird way. Because her Blizzard is basically the Eric, or Rakim's uh, fire. And her fire is, I guess, Eric's uh, Earth Fury slash Ice Cloud. It really depends on what you choose. Because this is basically the Ice Cloud, because it does damage and then it does a lot of overtime. So it's just big, big damage. Kind of like the Earth Hammer as well. And with Elemental Barrage, honestly, she could replace both of these assholes. Because you can also mind control a little bit. Although the crit is probably better. You can also use Elemental Weakness, but I mean... You can enchant things with elemental weakness, which is better, because you don't have to use up a skill for it. She can be really powerful though with these fucking things to just You see you see a boss and you just off a strike, right? Like I could take out Kane, put Whisper in, and just have one, two, 
three alpha strikers and use her uh, mark for even more damage. She can also kind of bleed things and her crits are also an alpha strike in themselves. But I want Thornsman. Thornsman is strong. Ridiculously strong. We got one more challenge that will give us 3,000 money. So we don't need a lot of extra cash to be able to max things out. So I might not need to min-max gold piles at all now. I might just let below or sub 100 golds. I won't though, because I know myself, but... <laughs> oh no, people! Poor people, guarding an ancient chest. Where the fuck is this going? What the hell? I thought this was just a little corner thing with one battle in the chest and then we could have went back here, but it just keeps going. Wh why? <laughs> what the hell? We got four hours, man. Why do they have a an energy barrier around this hole? I mean, it's considerate, sure, but why an energy barrier? Well, unless that's like tinted glass, but what the fuck? This purity guy is weird. Nothing new here. Still not Ferdinand. Training and staging area for pure Empire's forces. They attack in different group, using your champions as a training practice. Oh, sure. How may I help you? Right Stop. between the eyes. Well, this arena doesn't really match with the area we were just in. From the caves back to the Stargate factory. That looks cool. A little thing. Only one portal here, so we should just make our way. At your service. Affirmative. Here. Consider it done. Will do. I never miss. Your wish is my yeah. command. Shoot them. Moving into position. Amin Vera. Fuck you! Oh, someone just. They die with a very uh, satisfying yes. death noise. Orders, so to speak. advancing. All right, my lord. Satisfaction guarantee. Oh look, stuff. My blade. Look, they're jumping at him, so he doesn't even have to go away. It done. Somewhere else. Speedy so they're just grunting. Yes. At your service. Money Marte. They lowkey gas on when they die. May the light ah. guide your path. Unleash hell. All right. Money Marte. Yeah. yeah. Look at them, they're stacking defensive auras in each other. And then I just don't care. Money. I'm a lord. Shoot them. I want to use his W. Yeah. Double you. Nice. They started patrolling. Ooh, damages. He still dealt 28,000. He's barely doing anything. But that was more than the others. Although the water elementals were still. MVP. One handed axe again. And it looks like it's physical with a critical chance. Which is worse than this. In pants. Oh, resistance pants with armor. No penetration again. What the hell? They're purple though, so I could put the uh, thing on. Or health. Mm. 
I mean, just for better resistances, it doesn't matter. He doesn't need it. This one is pretty good as well. Yeah, I, I don't care. Ooh, blues, great. I'm so ecstatic seeing blues. Oh, that's very strong. No, oh, not much stronger, but still stronger. Penetration I can upgrade. Critical chance is the same, critical damage is not, because this one is uh, the end. So let's compare it to the other gun. Spectral meld. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Ooh, better! In every way possible. Similar or, or same or better. How does the DPS go down? Oh, because this one is a lot faster. A lot faster. 64, 177, what? Oh yeah, because it's stronger than this. But I mean, these would have the same speed, so she would really have a strong poofs. And we would get more crit chance. Otherwise, it's the same. It has more penetration than the end. And this one as well. Wait, what? 25 penetration. Oh, that's the end. The end has more penetration. But I mean, I can forge this. Penetration will change. There. This is better because at least they are in sync with the attacks. So both of their attacks. Both of the guns attack at the same time. With big boom. 20%, 20%, this is only 16%. Yeah. Plus it's blue. So it's only one away from another thing. Which could be Sunflower. Honestly, Dark City is not really interesting on this either. I mean, it's not bad, but it's only two instead of three. If this was a purple, I could make it even better. Actually, I couldn't. Dark Seed is a melee one. Which is this. Soul Rend is the Dark Seed. An elemental empowerment is Force. So yeah, the end is actually pretty good with the Dark Seed. And the other thing was a blue air thing with... It's... yeah. It, it doesn't have crit chance, but we realized that critical chance is only for basic damage. So what does it have? Okay, it has garbage penetration. It has get decent skill power, but garbage penetration. Penetration is the most important. If you cannot penetrate, what are you even doing? And this guy has three skill points. Ugh, penetration! Also, did Boron get fancier? Mm, not really. Ah, oh, he's back! His waist and his thighs got some extra. I think. Maybe. Maybe not. Green trash. Blue. Ah. Oh, look at that. It's the same, but better. Better resistances. Minus four health regen, so she would go into negative. And she would lose a lot of health. Just for some resistances that we can cap anyways? Nah. No. I'm good. Also, why... Why is, not, why is this not on? This gives speed. Attack speed. Oh, because of the health regen, of course. 
Then again, I could easily fix that. Just heal her during combat, but... I'm lazy. Grand Caves. Oh, look, more people. Nothing new. Your Empire's forces now realize that your party is more than just target practice. They activate a strange device and rush at your party all at once. A portal? It doesn't look like it's a portal. What is it? Health regen plus 50 per second, and we have minus 5 mana regeneration. What? Plus 50 health per second. That is cool. Your wish is my command. Yes. Will do. Heading out. Uh, Affirmative. Uh, consider it done. Hey, you. Gun of these. Woo. Um. Yes, my lord. Advancing. Get in there. Onwards to the front. In there. Why can't the. Oh, he was. He was stunned. Yeah. Amin vera yasenne. Yes. He's having Ready fun. To serve, my lord. Right ah. between the eyes. Oh, that was it. That, that's it. Oh. Going. I was like, maybe we have a challenge because they heal so much. But I mean, at this point, fifty health per second is not much, anyways. Oh god, we got loud waters. It's a little better here. Mm. Oh, look at that void resistance. That's pretty dope. The penetration, though. I'd have to give up. And the regeneration as well. I do not want to give that up. Void, 25% magic penetration, attack speed, cooldown, oh, no critical, but guess what, the mages don't care about critical anymore. Oh look, this is basically the same thing, <laughs> okay, wait, which means this is gonna be the same as well, right? Oh, it's not. 25% extra penetration, that's good. Regeneration, good. Attack speed, okay. Well, 25% penetration is better than 18% skill power, in my opinion. Only 5% less cooldown. Yeah, that's fine. That is... Because now from 12.9 goes down to 11.6, but that's still okay. 144% penetration. Oh. I might be able to put skill power on this. Crit cooldown. No. I can put some cooldown on it. It's only 2% less. And this is fine. For gaining an extra 40% or 30% magic penetration? Yeah, that's good. That is good. Oh, she's got the same thing. Literally the same thing. You want penetration? Oh, she's got better stuff. Actually not. This is better. Me. Noise! These penetrations are disgusting. Yay. Purple crossbow. Wow, that's fast. She could attack more than once a second. Whoa. It's a daze crossbow. It literally exists only for dazing. Um, I don't care. Go up. Up, up, up. Oh, shit! 
Hey dwarf! Guess what? We found your your candy. Going through the underground caverns puts Rockham in a good mood. Reminds me of home, these caves do. I can almost smell the pitch by cooking. The dwarf stops mid-sentence and raises his nose, uh, smelling an actual pie, and then rushes towards a nearby wall. You don't mean to tell me he really smells, I think the dwarf's losing his grip on reality. Running his hands along the thin silver line in the rock wall, Rakim kneels and smiles. Oh, so when the game said silver armor of the uh, Purity Empire, it's not actually silver, it's the color silver. They're probably wearing adamantine. Adamantium! Er, sweet, sweet adamantine! I know I'd find more of you here in somewhere. Perhaps you'll stumble across a decent sized vein yet. I mean, this could be a decent sized vein, maybe it all connects. Just can't see it. Rock and stone, Rockem, come on, dig! Dig! <laughs> dig! He's not gonna dig. I can just... I can just feel that he's not going to dig. Not enough bugs in this game for him to dig. Where does this take us? Oh, back to here, so we can... Oh, that's actually pretty nice, so we don't need to walk this. Back to the teleport. This is, so far, the only instance of the devs giving us, you know, saving us like 10 seconds that I wasted by explaining this. So, whatever. Uh, but we have to go here. And this is the closest teleport, so... Uh, uh, I can't. I feel like this is going to take more than an hour, still. And I'm only willing to go for an hour more at most. But if I go for an extra hour, then I'm going to be left with like, I don't know, what the fuck, I'm going the wrong way! <laughs> going to be left like, with like, I don't know, 30 minutes of gameplay left. And I don't like playing multiple things at once during the same stream. You know. So. I don't want to stream like 40 minutes tomorrow, that's too short. I'm debating whether I should stop now. We have a main quest, four more battles, five more chests, one more challenge in the city. Which is like probably like two minutes, because we just killed the guy and we're done, probably. I think I'm gonna stop here. And basically just kind of try to come to terms with the fact that today was not the day. Because it's 11 p.m., right? And I'm old. I need my sleep. Where are the other elements? Though we had them before. Wait, secret. Found the keycard. I still don't know. I also don't know what. Wait, on the lower level of keycard. Wait, we also have to go back to the previous floor for the metal door. That's the lab thing. I already forgot. Oh, thank God I looked at this thing. So there's that as well. That's probably another 10 minutes. Whoa. Preparing the device. Oh yeah, I need one more part of the uh, listening device as well. That's also on the previous floor. Wood entry machine. Ah, oh, we haven't found the uh, the third digit. So I guess intended solution was to just, you know, force it. And one more memory bank, which is here. So that's almost done. The main quest is almost done here. Because I guess we do this, then we kill her ass. Although we don't have to kill her, just reset, I guess. Anyways. Aha! It's going to be... Uh, tomorrow. Yes. Hope you enjoyed more penetration. The enemies are sure enjoying the penetration. Stay tuned for more penetration tomorrow. Goodbye.